English speaking course. Peter wants to increase his salary and was shown how to do that in a special way by John. Let's watch the video and see how it happened and what resulted. You don't love me anymore. What? No, I love you. You know. Why do you say that? You keep looking at other girls. No, babe. I. You keep looking at that girl who's wearing the red dress. You may like her. I just like that dress. I thought if you were in that dress, you must look like an angel. You don't like my dress, do you? Ah, I see. My dress is not beautiful. It's not what I mean. So what do you mean? I want to buy a dress like that for you. Hmm. Do you want to go shopping now? Haven't you told me there are many good deals today? Yeah, but I haven't had my salary yet. I can't buy anything, you know. No worries, I'm here. I will buy you anything you like today. Oh, Peter, you are the best. Let's go. Peter, look at it. Does it fit me? Do you want to try it on? Sure, wait for me here. I'm going to the fitting room. Okay. How do I look? You look amazing. Okay, I will take it. What about this handbag? Don't you have a similar handbag? No, it is different. Mine is a little bit bigger. I have never had this size. But I can't see the differences. But I like it, honey. Uh, hey, how about that hat? I don't like it. I want to take this handbag. Can I take it? Okay, if that's what you want. Yeah, thanks, babe. This handbag will be more pretty with a small handkerchief. Handbag and handkerchief? It doesn't make sense. That's fashion. You just don't understand but I don't think it matches your style. No worries, I have many clothes. I can use it with other things. Okay. How will you be paying today? By card, please. Your total comes to $647. Okay. Can you wrap them for me first? I have an important call. I will be back to make the payment. Sure, no problem. Honey, wait for me here. Okay. John, John, help me. What's up? I thought you have a date with Lily right now. We're out shopping, but I don't have money. Oh my. You can pay by card, actually. I don't have enough money on my card. Can you lend me $1,000, please? $1,000? Are you kidding me? No, I will pay you back when I receive my salary this month on the second. You must have bought the whole store. Please, the cashier is waiting for me right now. Okay, one second. Thank you so much. You saved my life. Thanks for waiting for me. No problem. Can I have your card, please? Here you are. Thank you. I wrapped them as required. I'm glad to serve you today. Thanks. See you. See you soon. How much did you spend yesterday? Around $800.
That is a lot. What did you buy? You know Lily, right? Yeah. Was she with you on that day? Of course. And she really fit the dress, so... Don't tell me you spent $800 on clothes for her. Well, yeah. Oh my god. But it was worth it, you know? Come on, Peter. Please don't throw your money around. No, I'm not throwing it. It was for my girl. I don't regret it. Okay, suit yourself. I just think that my salary is too low. Come on, it is higher than others. No, no, I need to raise my rate. I don't have enough money to do anything. I told you, don't buy too much. Being a shopaholic is not good for your girlfriend and yourself as well. Anyway, I want to review my salary with my boss. Do you have any advice? I heard a story. What is that? There is an employee who increased his salary. How? He is a normal employee, just like you. He's worked here for two years. Sounds like me. Yeah, I think there are some similar points. Okay, keep going. He is hardworking and always matches deadline. Then what happened? In a meeting between his boss and partners, he had proven his ability. How? What did he do? He stood up and pointed out the disadvantages of the boss's presentation. Everyone was shocked. He talked about disadvantages in front of their client? That's unbelievable. He may be fired. Yeah, everyone also has the same thoughts as you, but no. The boss applauded him and appreciated what he said. Then his salary was reviewed immediately the day after. That's unpredictable. The boss must be a perfect leader. Not really. The boss is tough and conservative. Lucky for him. That situation is rare. No, another employee in a different branch copied what he did. She was also successful. I am going to have a meeting next week. It is also an important meeting. Should I do that like him? I don't know. You should consider it. What's up, Peter? You look so sad. I tried my best, but... But what? Did you use that method? Yeah, I did. Was it a success? No, I thought my boss would like what I said, but he scolded me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is what happened. I'm so sorry. I thought he'd value my opinion, but no, he doesn't. I ruined the meeting. My career here is over. Hey, John. Hey. Remember Thomas? Thomas. Yeah, the guy who got a raise after sharing his shocking opinions in the meeting. Oh, right. What's up? He's not as good as we thought. What do you mean? He is not a lucky man. I don't understand. He is the nephew of a partner. Oh, so that's the reason. But what about the other staff member who imitated his way? Yeah, she reviewed her salary, that's true. But you know, she doesn't work in her branch anymore. It means that... Yeah, she was moved to a smaller branch in Africa. That's the reason why she got a salary increase. Oh my gosh. 
What a surprise. Let's learn how to introduce ourselves professionally to make a positive impression on colleagues, supervisors, or new friends with Jessica. Dialogue 1. Good morning, team. Good, Good morning, morning, teacher. teacher. My name is Mark. As you know, I'm your physical education teacher. I graduated from Virginia Commonwealth University. I love sports, especially football. That's why I chose this career. I have 20 years of experience teaching and coaching many football teams in schools and football clubs. I was the football coach of the Washington University team last year. I watched the finals. Washington University won. It's really impressive. Thank you. With hard work and practice, we won the gold medal in the intercollegiate soccer competition. I'm so excited to be your teacher this year. Let's have fun and practice together to improve our health and bring victory to our school. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Now you know a little bit about me. I can't wait to learn more about you. Dialogue 2. Good morning, class. Good, Good morning, morning, teacher. Today, we will welcome a new student to our class. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Isabella, Isabella Smith, but you can call me Bella. I used to live in London. My parents moved to Chicago to work, so I have the opportunity to attend this school. What are your hobbies, Bella? I like reading science fiction books at home, and I enjoy riding horses whenever I have free time. Riding horses? Yes, my grandparents have a horse farm in London, so I go there often. The horses are gentle and cute. What a lovely hobby. Thank you. I hope our school year goes well. Thank you for listening. Dialogue 1 Good morning, everyone. Let's meet our new employee, Julia. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Julia. I will be starting as the new waitress. A little about myself. I grew up in Austin, Texas. I went to school for a hotel and restaurant management degree and love anything in the hotel and restaurant industry. I'm very excited to bring my new skills to this team. I can't wait to work with you all. Welcome to the team. I'm Olivia. Welcome on board. I'm Zach. We hope you'll do some amazing work here. I'll try my best. On behalf of all the members, we would like to extend good wishes. Thank you. Dialogue 2. Hello team. My name is Peter Evans, your new marketing manager. Previously, I worked as a marketing manager in iTech company and have 15 years of experience marketing a wide array of events. I believe I can lead this team to even more success. However, I cannot produce great marketing results alone. I heard a lot of good things about this team in my interview. You did some cool events here. Together, we can achieve great things. I am excited to work with all of you. I really want to get to know the people I will be working with. Please, introduce a little about yourself. Let me introduce myself first.
Dialogue 1. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Try that cookie. I think you'll like it. Thanks for the suggestion. I'm Michael. Nice to meet you. You are. I'm Jesse. Nice to meet you. Who did you come to the party with? I came here alone. How about you? Me too. Would you like to sit over there and enjoy dessert together? Yes, sure. Where are you from, Jesse? I'm from here, good old Chicago. How about you? I'm from Italy. Italy is a beautiful country. Yes, it is. Would you like a glass of wine? No, thank you. I have an early flight tomorrow morning. Coca Cola? Yes, sure. Thank you. Dialogue 2. I guess it's yours. It fell at my feet. Oh, yeah, thank you. I'm Anna. I'm Mary. Are you going to France to travel? Yes, I'll visit my parents and travel around a little. And you? Just for work, you know, a business trip. You have the beauty of Asia. You're from Thailand, aren't you? Good guess. Really? Was I right? You're half right. My mother is Thai, but I'm from London. Where are you from? I'm from Bangalore. I know Bangalore. Bangalore is the capital and largest city of the Indian state of Karnataka. Right, yes. Have you been to India? Yes, I was traveling. Dialogue 1 Good evening, my name is Chris. I guess you are Julia. Yes, I'm Julia. Nice to meet you, Chris. Sit down, please. You're more beautiful than in the pictures on the dating app. Thank you. And this is my first time seeing your real face. The pictures you share on the dating app are only cats and cats. I know. They're so cute, all those cats. So how do I look? You look cute like a cat. I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah, that was a compliment. So what do you like to do for fun, Julia? I love exploring the great outdoors. I like to go camping or go to the beach. I know what to do for our second date. Dialogue 2 Do you mind if I sit here? No, I don't mind. Did you come here alone? Yes. Oh, I forgot. I'm Matt. Pleased to meet you. I'm Bella. It's my pleasure to make your acquaintance, Bella. Did you come here alone too? Yes. But how could a beautiful girl like you be here alone? I'm lovelorn. I'm sorry. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I can listen if you want to share. I can sit here and have a drink with you if you want. Sure, thanks for being kind. I know you still don't want to start a new relationship right now, but please keep my number. Just keep it. Sure. Do you come to this bar often? Yes, I come here often. Dialogue 1. Hello there. Hello. Hi. I'm Newton, your neighbor across the street. I'm Peter. Nice to meet you. 
you're new to the neighborhood. Yes, I just moved in yesterday. How are you settling in? Fine, thanks. Have you lived here long? About 20 years now. Wow, that's a long time. I can give you some tips on places to go and things to do in this area. So feel free if you want to ask me. Thank you. Hopefully we will be neighbors for a lot longer. I hope so. Dialogue 2. Hi, looks like I've seen you somewhere before. Yeah, I also feel like I know you. I'm Bowden, 18 years old. I'm William. You can call me Will. I'm 17 years old. Where do you live, Will? Maybe we live in the same neighborhood. I live at 2 King Street. Oh, really? I'm at 5 King Street. We're neighbors. Ah, I remember. We met at a barbecue at Mrs. Smith's. You were the one grilling the meat. Yes. I remember you very well because you ate the most barbecue. Yeah, I love barbecue. Let's watch Tony's love story. What will happen when his lover and best friend don't get along? Please don't do it. You can't do that. I love Tony so much, I can't leave him. Please, I can't live without him. Hey, Jenny. Hi, Tony. You're 20 minutes late. Sorry, Jenny. I'm the one who needs to be sorry, not Tony. He came to pick me up. I couldn't find my phone and he helped me look for it. Hmm, okay. Sorry. Did you really lose your phone or did you hide it? I don't understand what you mean. Come on, Jenny. So, have you found the phones yet? Not yet. It's okay, Alice. Don't be sad. I will buy you a new phone. You should be careful or you will lose both money and love. Jenny! Okay, whatever. So, is she your new girlfriend? Yes, she is Alice. She is my lovely girlfriend. Alice, this is my best friend, Jenny. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I need to take this call. I'll be right back. Nice to meet you, Jenny. It's not nice at all to meet you, Alice. You don't like me, do you? No. Why? We just met. What is it about me that makes you dislike me? Alice, listen. Stay away from Tony. What happened? I have to go now. Talk <gasps> later. Jenny says she doesn't like me. Don't worry, Alice. What type of person is Jenny? She is hot-tempered and hard to please. But when you become her friend, she is very kind and helps you in any way she can. I hope she will like me more in the future. She will, believe me. Don't think too much about Jenny. Just take a shower, watch your favorite movie, and get a good night's sleep. Okay, Tony. Good night. Good night, honey. There's something about Jenny that I don't know. She was rude to me even when we first met. Maybe I can find out more about her on social media. Ooh, why doesn't she update her status? Oh, 
Here's a class photo with her standing right next to Tony. Picture of her and the basketball team. She's standing next to Tony again. Look at the way she looks at Tony. Oh, Jesus. Maybe she likes Tony. That's why she treated me rudely. What am I gonna do now? Miss Alice, you have a gift. Here you are. Thank you. A gift from your boyfriend, huh? I don't know. I heard that your boyfriend is rich and successful. You are so lucky. Open it, Alice. I'm curious to see. Are they snakes? Yeah, but they're fake. Who does this? Are you okay, Alice? I'm fine. Thanks, Bella. There's a piece of paper in the box. Stay away. Do you know anyone who would do this? That's so rude and creepy. Maybe... What are you saying? Do you know who did this? No, I have no idea. You should be careful, Alice. Yeah, tell your boyfriend about this. I will. Thank you. Is it? It's me, Tony. Oh. After you called, I came as quickly as I could. What happened? Today, someone sent a box full of fake snakes to my company. There's also a piece of paper that says, stay away in red ink. Oh my God, who did that? When I went to the parking lot, someone painted stay away and red on my car. I'm so scared. I'm here now. I'll drop you off at work and pick you up. Thanks, Tony. The last time I met Jenny, she also told me to stay away from you. Do you think she did this? No, Alice. She could never do something like this. She does everything for a reason. That's right. The reason is she likes you. Don't worry, Alice. Nothing will happen to you. This weekend, I'm going to Germany to handle a big project for my company. When I return, I will prepare for our wedding. Really? Of course. Oh, Tony, I can't wait. Hello? It's Jenny, Tony's best friend. Hi, Jenny. Why are you calling me? Let's meet. I have something to tell you. We can talk on the phone. No, I want to see you. Why, Jenny? There is one thing I want to make clear. I have nothing to say to you. After I say my piece, I won't bother you and Tony anymore. I promise. Okay, Jenny. The condition is that we meet at my house. Okay. What do you want to say? Alice, now that it's just you and me, you don't need to pretend. What do you mean? Don't act like you're weak or kind. That's not who you are. Please stop it, Jenny. Do you think that if you move on to another place to live, people will keep forgetting what you did in the past? I don't know what you're talking about. I know you well, Alice. You specialize in seducing men and deceiving them for money. You're a side chick. A gold digger, 
Ruining the relationship of couples. You should be careful with your words. Do you remember Andrew? Andrew? I'm his ex-girlfriend, and you took him away from me. No, I didn't. Maybe you don't recognize me, but I will never forget you. I know you don't like me, but you can't slander me. These photos were taken a few days ago. You're dating someone else while you're getting married to Tony. I'll tell Tony everything. Please, don't do it. You can't do that. I love Tony so much, I can't leave him. Please, I can't live without him. You don't love him, you just want his money. Why is this door locked? Let me go. Oh, Jenny, Jenny. Actually, the first time I met you at the restaurant, I recognized you. Yes, Jenny. Andrew left you because of me. And that stupid kid thought I loved him. <laughs> you! And Tony. I just wait for Tony to complete his big contract. Then I'll find a way to take his money and leave him to live with my lover. I won't let you do that! Listen to me, Jenny. If you keep this a secret, after I receive the money from Tony, I'll give you some. You just need to shut up. No way! If you're stubborn, I can make you disappear from Tony's life. To Tony! Jenny told me all about you, but I didn't believe her. Until today. I have nothing to say. See you in court, Alice. Borrowing money. Hello, Dad. How have you been lately? Full of beans, and you? No complaints. How's Mom? Did she get over her cold? Yes, she is okay today. She went back to work yesterday. That's great. Uh, can you help me, Dad? Tell me, son, what exactly is it? Well, could you just lend me two hundred dollars? Jeff, you stated you could make ends meet when you moved in with Nancy and Andrew. But this is the third time you've sought my assistance. I'm sorry, but my old guitar broke and I had to get a new one. Jeff, if you want to perform in a band, that's okay with me. But you can't keep asking me to pay for it. Okay, okay. You're right. Well... First, I believe you should create a budget by listing all of your income and costs. And then it's as simple as not spending more than you earn. My costs are consistently more than my earnings. You should save more. It's very difficult. That's why I need to borrow money from you then. Maybe you should work more hours at the computer store. Dad... How can I study and work if I already work 15 hours a week? Jeff, I remember when I was your age. Come on, Dad. I know when you were my age, you were already married and working and going to school. That's correct. And if I could do it, I would. Why can't you? Dad, I'm not you. That's why. All right, Jeff, calm down. I don't expect you to be like me, but I can't lend you any more money. Since both your mother and I are on a tight budget. Maybe I should just drop out of school, work full time and play in the band in the meanwhile. I can return to school later. If I were you, I would not do so. You're right, but you're not me. Remember, this is my life. Okay then, let's not debate about it. Why don't you think about it carefully and call me back in a few days? In the meantime, you should figure out how to pay for that new instrument. 
Yes, father. Okay. Goodbye, son. Finding a job. Hello, Jeff. What exactly is going on? Oh, I'm reading through the classifieds. I guess I'll have to acquire a job. Aren't you working at a computer store or something? Yes, but it is only part-time. I need a full-time job. Really? However, what about school? Well, to tell you the truth, I'm probably going to drop out of school for a while. Why? I'm just not in the mood for studying these days. I'd rather spend my time playing with my band. All right. What sort of work are you looking for? Ideally, something involves music, such as in a record shop. Whatever I do, it'll be better than my first job. What was your first job? Oh, yeah. Believe it or not, the summer after I graduated from high school, I worked at Burger Ranch, a fast food restaurant. What exactly did you do there? I used to be a burger flipper, you know? I made hamburgers all day long. That sounds pretty funny. It was the worst job I've ever had. Hi guys, what's so funny? Oh, hello Nancy. Do you remember when I worked at the burger ranch? Oh, it was terrible. But it doesn't sound that horrible to me right now. What's the problem? Oh, I'm just terribly tired. What's happened? I'm teaching four different classes this term, and two of them are really large. How long have you been teaching? Twelve years. Perhaps it's time to try something new. Same as? Well, I've always wanted to be a writer, and I could do it from home. Oh, don't listen to her, Mari. She always talks this way when she's had a bad day at school. At least you have a good job, Nancy. Look at me, Nancy. What's wrong? Hmm. <sighs> I'm broke. And my father will not lend me any more money. Oh, stop complaining. If you're that poor, why don't you go back to Burger Ranch? Listen, stop arguing. Look at me. I can't work at all because I'm an international student. A single mother. Who's there? It's Sharon and Joey. Hello, please come in. Jeff, could you do me a favor? Yes, tell me. I just received a call from the office. They want me to look at a computer problem as soon as possible. Would you mind looking after Joey till I come back? Sure, no worries. Is he sleeping? Yes, he fell asleep five minutes ago. At this time of day, he normally sleeps for a couple of hours, but if he wakes up, simply give him a bottle. What a sweet baby. He's so little. This is our neighbor, Sharon, and her son, Joey. This is Mari, our new roommate. Mari, it's a pleasure to meet you. Glad to see you. I have to leave. Thank you so much for your assistance. Whoa, Jeff, I didn't know you liked babies. Well, Joey is special. Why? Because the baby is so cute. And she always lends me her car when I need. She looks very young. How long has she been married? She is unmarried. Really? Is she a single mother? Yes, right. Is she happy? I don't know. But I don't think she's happy being a single mother. Oh, is that pretty common in America, well? It's certainly becoming more and more common. Even Sharon used to talk about it. You know, before she got married. Hello, what were you saying about me? Oh, hello. That you used to talk about having a baby by yourself, before you met Andrew. 
Oh, yeah. You know, it was a very difficult time for me. I'm really lucky I met Andrew. Cell phone bill. Is it okay if I come in? It's all right. I was just catching up on my blog. Oh, yes. What is your blog about? Mostly about hip-hop. Oh, that's great. What are the benefits of blogging? Yeah, it's an excellent method to meet new people. Really? Yeah, you make friends with people you wouldn't have met otherwise. Perhaps I should create a blog in English learning. In addition, blogs also help us learn many new things. I know! I wanted to ask your advice. Yes, tell me. Well, I just got my cell phone bill for last month and it was $160. Cell phone calls are so expensive here. Yeah, so expensive. But anyhow, Jeff, I need to find a less expensive method to communicate with my parents and friends in Japan. Please go ahead. I heard there's a way that I can call overseas for free using your computer. Do you know anything about that? Ah, uh, it's a technology called voice over the internet. I use it all the time. How does it function? Well, you need a computer with a sound card. Yes, I do. You also need a microphone and a headset. I don't have any of those. You can get these at any electronic store. Anything else? Then you'll need to download the program, which is free, and then hope that the person you're calling downloads the same software, which allows you to call for free. But what if they don't? Can I call from my computer to someone's phone? Yes, there is a fee, but it is much less expensive than using your cell phone. Great! Decorating for Lunar New Year Hello, Sarah. Can you help me? Sure. What do I have to do now? Thank you very much. Hold this red paper for me. Okay. What exactly are you doing? I'm decorating for Lunar New Year. I don't know too much about Lunar New Year. Why is it called Lunar New Year? Because the dates of celebration follow the phases of the moon. How do you celebrate it? Family gathers together on Lunar New Year's Eve. The whole family has a special dinner together, and we all stay up until late. What do you eat? We eat chicken, fish, noodles, and dumplings, and parents gift their kids red envelopes. What are red envelopes? The envelopes have money inside. Oh, cool! Hey, Sarah, take a look at my kipao. It's extremely great, but what does kipao mean? a type of dress traditionally worn by Chinese women. Great! In your country, what do people normally do during the Lunar New Year? A few days before the New Year, we clean the house and decorate the walls with red paper. Lunar New Year sounds interesting. I can write about it for the newspaper. The Date of Lunar New Year Ugh, I have a lot of work to do. What exactly are you working on? I'm writing a column about Lunar New Year. Great. The date of Lunar New Year actually changes each year. Did you know that? Of course I know, because it depends on the moon. It follows the lunar calendar. That's correct. And it will always fall sometime between 21st of January and 20th of February. Most people think that it's honoring the Lunar New Year is just a Chinese tradition. But it's an event that's been celebrated in many countries in Asia. Do you know that? Yes. Mark, how do you know all this? When I make cuisine from other nations, I try to learn about their cultures as well. I like learning about different cultures and delicacies. Cool. 
Although the Chinese New Year is celebrated in winter, the Chinese call it Spring Festival or Chunchi. And in South Korea, they call the traditional holiday Solal. And in Vietnam, they call it Tet Nguyen Dan. But I don't know much about their traditions. I know some traditions. Tell me. Despite the difference in names, they have similar traditions. Fantastic. Tell me more. Chinese and Vietnamese families give their loved ones money in red envelopes. While Koreans traditionally offer theirs in silk pouches. Whoa, anything else? And of course, different Asian countries will celebrate the new year in their own traditional garb. What about food? The food is different. Koreans enjoy rice cake soup. Vietnamese eat bang chung. Well, I want to try to make that. I'll cook some New Year's food for us. Traditional clothes for Lunar New Year. You look lovely, honey. Thanks. But why are you wearing shorts? Tonight's Lunar New Year's Eve. Did you forget? No, we're going out to eat with the family. But, honey, I don't want to go. Honey, you know Lunar New Year's Eve is the most important time. I know. It is a time for families to be together. So, we have to go change your clothes. Your new clothing is in your bag. Here, change your clothes. Why should I wear this, honey? I'm so ashamed. Why? I feel silly. I like to wear traditional Chinese clothes for Lunar New Year. We'll be a hit at dinner. Fine. Anyway, I don't like seeing my brother since he kept talking about his money. I know, but he's a member of the family. Okay, I know. Let's go. Happy Lunar New Year! Lunar New Year's Eve Sarah, your column about Lunar New Year is great. I think you are a great writer. Thank you. And I have a present for you. It's a stuffed tiger because it's the year of the tiger. Thanks. I also have a present for you. Thanks. What exactly is it? It's a paper lantern from China. It's flat now, but when you pick up the top, it opens up. Great. Where did you buy this lantern? In Chinatown, Chicago. Last night, I went there with my brother. Chicago? It's very far from our town. Well, we spent two hours driving the car. Did you have a great time in Chinatown? Sure, we had fun. We ate a Lunar New Year's Eve dinner in Chinatown. I'd also want to visit Chinatown. You should definitely go! On Saturday, there will be a Lunar New Year parade. Mark and I are leaving. Will there be fireworks? Yes! Do you want to go with us? I'd love it. Thanks for inviting me. You are one in a million. This card says you are one in a million. So sweet. Is it okay if I give this to Jim? Who is Jim? No one. Don't try to trick me. Surely Jim must be someone. Maybe he's even someone special, right, Sarah? No, Mark. Jim is only my friend. He isn't my boyfriend. Well, we're looking for a Valentine's Day card for Sarah's friend. Mark, don't tease me. All right, I will help you choose a beautiful card. Okay, but be nice. I'm always nice. This one is adorable. Let's stay buddies till the end. That's adorable. What is written on the inside? I love you. That's great. What? No, Jim is not my boyfriend. Jim is my friend. Okay, what about this card? What does it say in the inside? The card says, hello, sweetheart. Mark. All right, all right, I found one. It has a sweet message. What exactly does it say? Does it say, I have a crush on you? 
It says, thank you for being my friend. Is that all? That is all. This card is not romantic at all. Great, Rennie. Give it to me. I love this card. Yeah, you can write my own special message. Your friend, Sarah. Okay, I'm done. Good. Jim will treasure your card. Read it to us, Sarah. No, this is a secret. Hey, I'm your brother. You're also a good brother. Thanks, Sarah. I care about you. I want to know what you write inside. Thank you very much, Mark. You are a great brother. Sure, so read to us. You know, Mark, you always make me happy. Because I am your brother. You two are so sweet to each other. Let me give you a hug. Thank you. Uh-uh. Mark, you can also offer someone a hug. Ooh. Someone special to you. No one is special. Well, you do have a crush on a girl. Really? Tell us about her. No, this is a secret. The First Valentine's Day Wow, this dish is so delicious. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Macaroni and cheese are one of my favorite foods. I can't believe you cooked this dinner. Moreover, this dish is also very easy to make. And Mark, even like you use his kitchen. Mark knows we celebrated our first Valentine's Day here. For us, this restaurant is a special place. Yeah, right. We had great memories here. I proposed to you here. It was the happiest day of my life. Aw, Simon. I fall in love with you more every day. I love you too. Do you remember the first Valentine's Day we spent together? Obviously. I never forget that day. Do you remember the poem I wrote for you? Did you write a poem for me? Yes. Did you forget? No, honey. I was just kidding. We were here at the dinner, and you read the poem on the stage. I was tense at that time. Very cute. That was a night I'll never forget. At that time, I said, Rennie, you are the person I love the most in my life. Will you marry me? You know, at that time I was very surprised, and I was very emotional at that time. The moment you said yes was the happiest moment of my life. I was so happy that you would be my husband. Tom has a rather embarrassing illness, farting disease. Tom had a lot of trouble with this disease. Let's see what Tom encountered in the video below. Hi everyone! Hello Mr. John. You look quite sick! Well, you know, the project is being carried out at a critical juncture. We are trying our best. Okay, let's talk over the tasks we need to finish. Yes. Well. I'm afraid that we will need to work hard in the near future. So we have a lot of tasks. Right. Now, our company must send someone to Paris to survey and research the market. Because in this project, Paris will be our new market. Oh, who's going to Paris? How long will we have to go? This depends on your ability to handle the work. I guess about four days. I got it. And meanwhile, I need someone here in New York to be in charge of the data and draft contracts and negotiate with partners here. Wow, quite a lot of work. Exactly. I need you all to pay attention 100%. Sure, we always pay attention in every meeting, like following our rule, don't go out during the meeting. Right, so now I'll divide the tasks. Okay. Sorry, but I want to add something to your plan. Yes, please. In my opinion, we should dig deeper into the media plan. 
because our rival company is very strong in communication. In order to be able to compete well with that party, we should also improve the quality of our communication. I agree. I was thinking about this too, but forgot to ask you. I will assign the marketing communication department to do the planning soon. Does Tom want to share any ideas? I feel very fine. Good. And I think the best way is that David go to Paris and Tom to be here. What do you think? I'm okay with that. But we need to contact and set up our new branch in advance. I just came up with this thinking. Okay, I will ask them. How about you, Tom? I agree with you. I feel that today Tom isn't picking up on it. While David gave me a lot of ideas, you haven't said anything. I'm sorry. I'm not feeling well. Oh my god, save me. What did I have for lunch today? I feel terribly bloated and want to fart. I can't put up with that feeling anymore. I need to go out. Yes, I'm John. What do you mean? I said that Mr. Tom, who is in your department, I want you to think over a promotion for him. Why did you suddenly make up your mind? Simply. I have seen his efforts lately and he has done very well. I want you to promote him to deputy. I see what you mean. And I want him to go meet my partner right now. Now? Right. This is a rather difficult client. I believe he will not let me down. Tom, can you pay attention? You know this project is so important to our company. Yes, I know. Okay, now, Tom and David, I will ask you a question. Really? Sure. Please answer me together. Where will this project be done? Paris. London. Really, Tom? I touched on it at the beginning of the meeting. Haven't you listened to me? You know how important this project is, but you're not focused on it. Do you still want to continue working? I I'm sorry. If I don't check, you won't remember any information about this project and it will be left out, right? I'm very disappointed in you. I'm here, Mia. Tom, have you finished your work? I've finished the meeting. Why? Come back quickly. We have a few more things to gear up for the meeting with my family. My mom asked us over for dinner at 7 p.m. and it's already 5 p.m. Oh, is it 5 o'clock already? Yes, don't you see the clock? I had a meeting so I didn't know the time. Hurry up and dress up a bit. So I'm late for my appointment with the doctor. Dr. Alex made an appointment for me at 4 o'clock. My flatulence is quite serious, but it seems I have to call it off. Tom! What are you doing? We're going to be late! Yeah, I'll be right back. Why did you fall in love with my daughter? Mom! Well, Mia and I really match each other. We have a lot in common. Where do you work? Oh no, not again. I'm working at a fashion company. Is your work stressful? You don't look good. He is assigned an important project, so he has worked hard. I got it. But what are you looking at? Oh, I see a cup missing on the table. Let me go get it. No, Tom. Let Mia get it because she knows where it is. 
Don't worry, Mia. Take a cup. Yes, Mom. I just remembered I didn't close the car door when I got out because I was in a hurry to get in. Let me go out and go over it. You don't need to do that. When I closed the gate, I checked for you. You closed it already. Ah, is that so? That's great. Do you like this dish? When Mia was a kid, this was her favorite. Yes, it takes me back to my childhood. I usually ate fried chicken that my mother made. I'm sorry, but can I go to the restroom, please? Sure. Do you know where the restroom is? Yes, I have seen it. Okay. Oh, no. Are you okay, Tom? I I'm okay, but I'm so sorry. Are you sure that you're okay? That sounded very painful. No, I'm okay. That's good. Let's go back to the table. Ah, uh, I was so surprised. Right, this is the first meeting. <laughs> You're a funny guy. You surprised me and I burst out laughing. I'm sorry. Actually, I have a few problems. I often get flatulence and I find it extremely inconvenient. Oh, really? Yes, I was supposed to have an appointment with the doctor this afternoon, but I was too busy at work so I couldn't go and I called it off. I'm sorry. You had a meeting until 5 p.m., is that right? Right, when you called me I had just finished the meeting. Ah. Honestly, this is the most embarrassing situation of my life. I hope everyone forgets what came about. I got it. Just a few jokes. Don't think too much. No one wants that situation to happen. I hope you get well soon. Yes, thank you. I hope I don't put you off. Come on, try this one. Some phrasal verbs appear in this situation. Carry out, to perform a task. The project is being carried out at a critical juncture. Talk over, to discuss something thoroughly. Let's talk over the tasks we need to finish. Be in charge of, having control of or responsibility for something. I need someone here in New York to be in charge of the data and draft contracts. Pay attention to concentrate on something. We always pay attention in every meeting. Go out. Leave a room. Don't go out during the meeting. Add something to. To add more information. I want to add something to your plan. Dig deeper, to make an effort with all of your resources. We should dig deeper into the media plan. Give in, to decide to do what someone else wants. Does Tom want to give in any ideas? Set up, to establish. But we need to contact and set up our new branch in advance. Come up with to produce something. I just came up with this thinking. Pick up on, to become aware of, to understand. Tom isn't picking up on it. Put up with, to tolerate or endure something. I can't put up with that feeling anymore. Think over, to consider something carefully. I want you to think over a promotion for him. Make up one's mind to decide something. Why did you suddenly make up your mind? Let someone down to fail to support or help someone as they had hoped or expected. I believe he will not let me down. 
touch on, to mention. I have touched on it from the beginning of the meeting. Focus on, to concentrate. You're not focused on it. Leave out, to fail to include someone or something. You won't remember any information about this project and it will be left out. Gear up for, to prepare, to get ready. We have a few more things to gear up for the meeting with my family. Ask someone over, to invite someone to one's house. My mom asked us over for dinner at 7 p.m. Hurry up, to be quick. Hurry up and get ready. Dress up, to dress well. Dress up a bit. Call off, to cancel an event or agreement. But it seems that I have to call it off. Fall in love, to love. Why do you fall in love with my daughter? Look at, to see. But what are you looking at? Get out, to leave a vehicle. Get in, to arrive at a destination. Go over, to check. I didn't close the car door when I got out because I was in a hurry to get in. Let me go out and go over it. Take someone back to, to remind something. It takes me back to my childhood. Hold on, to wait. Hold on! Burst out, to begin doing something suddenly. You surprised me and I burst out laughing. Come about, to happen. I hope everyone forgets what came about. Put off, to cause someone to lose interest or enthusiasm. I hope I didn't put you off. Do you believe in fidelity and love? Let's follow Kim's love story to find the answer for yourself. Kim, I'm sorry I've been so busy lately, but I wanted to prepare for this moment. I can't wait to have moments like this for the rest of our lives. Oh, Sean. I love you, Kim. Will you marry me? Say yes, say yes, say yes. Sean, this really surprised me. You said you like surprises. Come on, say yes, Kim. Let's be together forever. No, Sean, I won't marry you. One week prior. I'm thinking of our vacation plan. What do you think we will do on this vacation? Whatever you like, honey. I'm thinking of traveling for vacation. Where do you want to travel? Sean, what's up? Where do you want to travel? Ah, uh, I will go wherever you want to go. Where do you want to travel? Should we go to Europe or Asia? Last time we went to Thailand. How about Paris? Whatever, honey. My friend went to Paris and she said it was super romantic. Paris is really suitable for couples. Sean, who are you texting with? No one. You aren't listening to me. You keep staring at your phone. I'm just texting my friend. Your friend? Who? My friend. I'm talking about our vacation and you're completely ignoring me, just texting your friends. Why are you angry? Which friend are you texting? A friend in my company. I want to see your message. You're being unreasonable. You're hiding something. No. You're lying to me, aren't you? This is nothing. I want to see that message. No, it's my privacy. Fine. Are you fighting with Sean again? How do you know? You don't say anything, but just sigh. 
What happened? We were talking about a vacation plan, but he was not interested in it. He was constantly texting someone. Who was he texting? He said he was texting with a friend in the company, but it seemed like he was hiding something. Maybe he's busy at work. Or he has something important at work, but he's afraid you will be worried. You think so? Yes. <sighs> I don't even understand myself anymore. What do you mean? Sean and I have been best friends since childhood. We both became closer and closer. Our parents knew it. My parents and his parents also agreed to let us get married when we grow up. And since then, we've been together. So, why are you confused? Sometimes, I'm not sure if our relationship is love or just a familiar feeling because we grew up together. Oh, I see. You two have grown up and been together a long time. Now you're about to get married. It must be love. Don't think too much. Maybe you're right. But he hasn't called me since that day. This has never happened before. I think you should find him and have a talk to get to know each other better. Okay. Thanks, Monica. Monica was right. Maybe I was overthinking. Sean treats me very well. Maybe he's really busy with his work. Or he's secretly planning to propose to me. I'll find him tomorrow. But this feeling, is it love or... Is that... Sean, you are lying. Tiffany, listen to me. What do you want to say? I already know about you having a girlfriend. All this time, you not only lied to me, but also promised to marry me. No, Tiffany, I really want to marry you. She's just my friend. You're the only one I love. Your words don't mean anything. Calm down, Tiffany. Your behavior has been weird lately. Because I'm so busy these days. No, Sean, don't lie. Why do you doubt me? Because you are not trustworthy. In order to see your true face, I hired a private detective to follow you. Follow me? Yes. She is your childhood best friend and also the person you are going to marry. <gasps> You've been playing games. Sean, you don't deserve me. You don't deserve any girl in this world. You're a terrible man. I don't want to see you again. Fine, I don't need you either. Excuse me, may I sit here? Whatever. Why are you drinking here alone? How do you know I came here alone? If you were here with your boyfriend, you wouldn't have dressed like this. Oh, okay. And no one buys vegetables and then goes to the bar like you. Are you a student of Sherlock Holmes? No, but I like him. You came here alone too, right? How do you know? If you came here with your girlfriend, you would be with her, not here. I may come here with my friends. Look around. We're surrounded by couples in love. I like Sherlock Holmes, too. I'm Liam. Nice to meet you. I'm Kim. Nice to meet you. So, why are you here alone? Because I am in a bad mood. Why are you here alone? I'm sad, I'm disappointed, and I don't know what to do. May I buy you a drink? Thank you.
What a jerk. Good thing you found out the truth. 20 years. We had been together for 20 years. Do you love him? Yes. I think you deserve someone better. Liam. Yes. Do you believe in true love? Yes, I do, and I hope I always do. You are indeed optimistic. What is love, Liam? When, when a girl is in love, you can see it in her smile. When a guy is in love, you can see it in his eyes. Yeah, you're right. The way he looks at me has changed. My house is here. It's good to meet you, Liam. Kim. Yes. If God can take away something you never expected to lose, he can replace it with something you never imagined. Remember that. I will. Thank you, Liam. I feel better. Glad that I can help. Good night, Kim. Good night. Bye. Bye. Will we go to dinner together tonight? I have a surprise for you. Okay. I'm sorry about last time. I had a big project, so I was very busy. Work groups are constantly texting me. Liar. Because I didn't want you to worry, I didn't tell you. I understand. I hope you enjoyed dinner tonight. Sure, it was good. You look great tonight, Kim. Thank you. You like to listen to the violin, don't you? Yes. Kim, I'm sorry I've been so busy lately, but I wanted to prepare for this moment. I can't wait to have moments like this for the rest of our lives. Oh, Sean. I love you, Kim. Will you marry me? Say yes! Say yes! Say yes! Sean? This really surprised me. You said you like surprises. Come on, Kim, say yes. Let's be together forever. No, Sean, I won't marry you. You're only asking me this because Tiffany rejected you. How? How? And I'm just your backup plan. Tiffany was right. You don't deserve any girl in the world. It's beginning to snow. Oh, it's all snow on my shoulders. It's beginning to snow, right? Yes, it's beginning to snow. Do you like snow? Of course. There's snow on both sides of the row. Snow on the roof. It's soft and white and covers everything with beauty. I love it. You're right. But I don't really like snow. Why? It's so beautiful. Because it's cold and I don't enjoy shoveling snow. Snow kills the flowers in my garden and I really hate driving in heavy snow. You can take the subway to your company. That's a good idea. A house at the shore. What do you plan on doing during this vacation? My family will visit my uncle's house for about a week. Where is your uncle's house? It is in Florida. It's a house on the shore. That's wonderful! Yeah, I really like the sea. Me too! Swimming in the sea is also great! Yes, where will you travel on this vacation? I don't have any plans yet. You can go with my family. Could I? Of course. It will be fun. Thank you for your invitation. A soccer game.
Are you free tomorrow afternoon? No, I'm busy tomorrow. For what? Tomorrow I'm going to play soccer with my team. Your team? Yes, our school soccer team. Oh, I didn't know. When did you begin to play for the school soccer team? This summer. That's cool. Are you a good soccer player? Yes, but I still need a lot to practice. Who is the best player on your team? That's Mark. He's so good. Do you want to join the school soccer team? No, I prefer watching soccer to playing soccer. Not so young. My son just informed us that he is getting married this Christmas. What a good news! Congratulations! Who is his bride? She is his colleague. We've seen pictures of her. She's a beautiful girl. I can't believe your son is getting married. How time flies. Yes, I still remember the day he was a kid. We're getting old. Well, we're not as young as we used to be. How old are we? You know that. No matter how old we are, I hope to have tea with you every week. Like this. Me too. Is she single? Guess who I met last night? Your son? Don't joke, I'm not even married yet. I met Eve last night. Eve? Our high school friend? Yes, it's her. How did you meet her? I met her at an art exhibition. How is she? She is not only okay, but also very beautiful. Is she single? Do you like her? No, I'm just curious. She's been married for two years. What? Really? <laughs> I'm kidding. She's still single, and I have her phone number. Give it to me, please. Nope. It's my treat this time. I'll pay. I appreciate that. What is her phone number? To buy a birthday present. Are you thinking about something? Next week is my husband's birthday. I'm thinking about buying a birthday present. Does he like fashion? You can buy some clothes for him. We went clothes shopping last week. What gift would you like to receive on your birthday? Why are you asking me that? No, I mean, what do men like to receive on their birthday? Leather wallets, belts or jackets, nice shoes or watches. Nice shoes. That's a good idea. Buy him a pair of shoes from Nike or Adidas. Okay, thanks for your suggestions. Telephone. Hello, is Thomas there? Hi, I'm Thomas. Who is calling? This is Tom. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Never better. I've been trying to call you all day. Sorry about that. I was cleaning up. What's up? I was just calling to see if you wanted to meet up this Saturday. Yeah, I'd love to. So what's the plan for this Saturday? I was thinking about going to the bar we usually go to. Okay, let's go there. Eight o'clock as usual, okay? Great, see you this Saturday. See you then, goodbye.
a light eater. We're going to have dinner tonight. Would you like to join? I'm sorry, I can't. I usually don't have dinner. Really? Yes. I had to cut back from three meals a day to two. Oh, I didn't know. Why? My stomach is quite weak and prone to bloating. This afternoon I saw that you only ate bananas and apples. Aren't you hungry? I got used to it, and I also don't like feeling full. Next time you all go out for a drink, I will definitely join. Sure, I won't forget it. A nice flat. One. This is a nice flat, a great place to rent. Where is it? It's on 8th Street. How big is the flat? It is about 100 square meters. How many rooms does the flat have? There is a living room, a kitchen, two bedrooms, a bathroom, and a toilet. That sounds great! We need to contact the landlord to see if the flat is still available or not. Okay. I'll call the landlord right now. Hi, I'm John. Could I speak with Linda Collin? A nice flat, too. The flat has two bedrooms, a large bedroom and a small bedroom. This is a large bedroom. It's so nice, I love it. How about the small bedroom? Follow me. It is opposite the large bedroom. It's so cute. Shall we go to see the kitchen? Sure. This is the kitchen. The kitchen is quite small. Yes, but all kitchen utensils are available here. You can use them. Great. This is a nice flat. Besides you two, a couple came to see the flat yesterday. Afraid of flying. We are going on a business trip to London this Wednesday. Oh no, we will go by plane to get there? Of course. Are you afraid of flying? Yes, I'm afraid of flying. Are you afraid of flying? Of course not, I like to fly. It's fast and safe. Why are you afraid of flying? Because I feel like I have no control over the situation and my safety. Don't think too much. Flying is very safe. Is it silly to be scared of flying? It's normal. Many people are afraid of flying. A plane reservation. I need to make a plane reservation. Yes, ma'am. Where do you plan on going? I'll be vacationing in Tokyo, please. Sure, ma'am. When do you want to travel? Next Thursday, November 4th. Does it matter to you if you leave in the morning or afternoon? I can only take a flight that leaves in the afternoon. Would you like a return ticket? Yes, I'm coming back on the 15th. I'd like a morning return flight better. Yes. How many seats would you like? Just the one, please. May I have your name, please? Sato Sakura. What are you doing? John, what are you doing? John, I am playing video games. Do you know what time is it? It's nine. 
Yes, do you do household chores today? I did my bed, Mom. Did you water the flowers? Not yet. Okay, finish your game, then do it. I see, Mom. Do you know where Liz is? What is she doing? No, she may be sleeping in her room. Liz, what are you doing? I am painting my picture. Wow, it's so beautiful. Thank you, Mom. Did you sweep the floor? Yes, I did. Well done. Are you okay? Tim, what are you doing? I'm so tired. I cannot focus on working. So sorry. What happened? I wake up with a bit of a headache. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. No worries. No, you look so bad. Did you take any medicines? Not yet. I think it's because of the weather change. You should go to the medical room. Okay. <gasps> Are you okay? I am dizzy. My head is spinning. Let me help you. Thank you so much. Be careful. How was everything? Hey, Nick! Long time no see. Leo, glad to see you. How are you? I'm good. How was everything? Everything's going well. It is a long time since we last met. Yes, we have never seen for some years. How is your kid? Linda? She is six years old. Oh, time flies so fast. Do you have a plan to have a new baby? My wife is pregnant. Five months. Oh my God, congrats. How about you? Do you get married? Not yet, but I have a baby boy. Oh, how old is he? I'm so surprised. He is three years old. I adopted him. Ah, oh, great. Hope that I can meet him one day. Do you take credit cards? Hi, may I help you? I want to pay my bill, please. Okay. Can I have your customer ID? Here you go. Thank you. That is $84. Okay. Do you want to pay by cash or card? Card, please. Do you take credit cards? Yes, of course. I heard that there is a discount for using a credit card. Yes, you will be refunded 5% of the bill. That's great. So the total is $80. Thank you. Here you are. Where are you flying to? Hey mate, where are you heading to? I'm going to the airport. Okay, get in. Thank you. Do you want to take the highway? It will be faster. No, you can take major streets. I'm not rushed. What time is your flight? I see a lot of traffic. It's 1 p.m. Cool. Where are you flying to? I am going to Mexico. What will you do there? I am working in a lab there. We arrived. Thank you. How does it cost? 
It's $45. Here are $50. You can keep the change. Thank you. Have a safe flight. We are going to the pictures. Hello, Anna. Do you have free time tonight? Hi, Linda. Yes, I do. What's up? Do you want to go to the cinema with me? I have two tickets. Sure. What time? It's 8 o'clock. Okay, see you then. Mommy, I am going to go out with Anna tonight. Where are you going? We are going to the cinema. Sounds great. I will be home a late a bit. You don't need to wait for me. What time do you come home? Around 11 p.m. You should come home earlier. It's dangerous outside. But the movie only starts at 8. I will try to come home as soon as possible. Okay. If you are late, call me, then I will pick you up. What is he like? Look, do you know him? Let me see. No, who is he? He is the guy I met at the party last week. Wow, he looks so handsome. Does he? Do you usually keep in contact with each other? We met twice after the party. Sounds good. What is he like? He is friendly and gentlemanly. He knows how to take care of others. Sounds like you are really into him. A little bit, I think. Oh my. I want to meet him one day. Sure. Why are you so worried? Sam, are you okay? You look so sad. Yes, I'm fine. Why are you so worried? I got a bad score, Grandma. Oh, what score did you get? I got C. Which subject? Maths. I'm worried that Mom will not be happy with me. Did you try your best in that exam? Yes, I did. But the test is so hard for me. I think if you did do your best, your mom will not be too tough. Can you talk with her, please? I'm so scared. Okay. I'm running out of time. Hey, Tom, why haven't you gone to bed yet? I'm running out of time. Time of what? My assignment! The deadline is coming on next Monday. Oh, that why you stayed at home all weekend, right? Yes. Do you need my help? I think no. I'm completing it now. Okay. Go to sleep soon. Aw, oh, Mommy. Yeah? What's up, boy? Can you bring me a cup of coffee, please? Coffee? Yeah, I need to make something done before tomorrow. Okay. If you are tired, you should take a rest. Thanks, Mom. It must be right. Do you want to cook lunch with me? Sure. Which dishes do we have today? 
We have spaghetti and Russian salad. Great, I love spaghetti so much. Can you help me to slice tomatoes? Okay, honey. Is it right? Is it a bit big? I think it should be smaller. Okay, it's hard, but it must be right. Well done, honey. Can I mix them together? Yes, but use a large bowl. Okay, should I add mayonnaise now? No, we will add it later. Let's have fun. Oh, Mr. Jacob, is Lana home? Yes, she is on the second floor. Do you want to come in and wait for her? No, thanks. We are going to play badminton. That's great. Let me call her. Yes, I will wait for her here. Lana, Anne is waiting for you. Coming now. Wait for me a few minutes, Anne. I'm ready. Hi, Anne. Hi, Lana. Let's go. Let's have fun. Bye-bye, sweetie. Bye, Daddy. Have fun. I'm so sorry to hear that. James, you came to San Francisco last week, didn't you? Yes, I did. It's a long trip. Is it your hometown? Yes, I lived there when I was a kid with my grandparents. It must be a wonderful trip. No, it's not. Come on, why are you so bored? What happened? My grandpa passed away. I came there for his funeral. Oh my God, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's fine. You must be very sad. Do you feel better now? Yes, I feel better. But I miss him so much. You're beautiful. Are you going to the prom? I don't know. Will you go? Of course. But I don't want to go to the prom alone. Have any guys asked you to go to the prom? Yes, but I refused. Would you like to come with me? Don't joke. I know we are friends, but why not? Okay. Remember to pick me up. Sure, your house is near mine. Casey, hurry up. We're late. <gasps> Let's go. Wow. Something wrong? You're beautiful. Thank you. Let's go now. We're late. I don't know how to use it. The Eiffel Tower is beautiful. Let's take a photo. How do we take a photo of ourselves? Ask someone for help? Okay. Excuse me, will you take a picture of us? Sure. Thank you. Please use this camera. This is a nice camera, but I don't know how to use it. It's easy to use. You press this button. I got it. One, two, three, 
Smile! Thanks so much! It's nothing. Where's the photo? I don't know. We like it very much. Have you had dinner yet? Yes, we have. Thank you for your gifts. It's nothing. Gifts for your new house. Do you like the wall art I gave you? We like it very much, especially Anna. I'm glad you liked it. And the scented candles mom gave us. We like it so much. She said you would like it. <laughs> she was right. Would you like to go fishing with me this Saturday? Okay. I'm free this Saturday. I'm sorry. We are sold out. Would you like to eat pizza? Sorry, I'm in a hurry now. For what? A book of William Austin was released today. He is a famous author. I have to go to the nearest bookstore to buy it. Good luck! I want to buy a book by William Austin. You mean childhood, right? Yes, right. I'm sorry, we're sold out. Oh no! Try going to the bookstore across the street. I'm here to buy childhood, please. Sorry, we're sold out by noon. Really? Yes. I have a headache. Hello. Hi, Lisa. I'm Jack. Are you off today? Yes, I am. Is everything okay? I'm worried, so I called you. Are you okay? I have a headache. You should go to the hospital. I think I can't drive right now. Let's take a taxi. I will go to the hospital. Thanks for calling. Good morning. Please, tell me where the problem is. I have a headache. When did you start to hurt? Last night. Let me check. Breathe in, then breathe out. When will you be leaving? I'm calling to book a flight ticket to London. Sure, sir. When will you be leaving? Between the 7th and 10th of this month. Do you have a morning flight? Yes, sir. We got one at 7 a.m. on October 10th. Great. I'm booking it now. I was accepted into the University of London. Congratulations! Thank you. When will you be leaving? On October 10th. I will miss you. Let's keep in touch. Sure. You can visit me in London whenever you want.
Would you like one way or round trip tickets? New York Airways, good morning. May I help you? I want to buy a plane ticket to Korea. What is your travel date? On 9th July. Would you prefer a morning or an afternoon flight? In the afternoon, please. Yes, sir. Would you like to travel economy or business class? Business class and the aisle seat. Would you like one way or round trip tickets? A one way ticket, please. We've got one at 3 p.m. on July 9th. Perfect. May I have your name? Victor Kim. I ate it already. Dialogue 1. This soup is good. You should try this one. What dish is this? Carbonara. Have you eaten it yet? I ate it already. How does it taste? It's pretty good. I like it. Let me try it. You're right. It's delicious. Dialogue 2 Vera, are you free tonight? Yeah. What's up? Would you like to go to the cinema? Okay. I haven't eaten dinner yet. Let's go out for dinner, then watch a movie. I ate it already. So, see you at 8 p.m. at the cinema. Okay. See you later. That's enough. What are you doing, Mom? I'm making a cake. What cake, Mom? Custard cake. Do you need any help? Of course. Come here. What should I do first? Open the fridge. You'll see a milk box in it. Okay. Let's pour milk into that bowl. How much milk to pour? Just pour it. I'll watch out. Okay, Mom. That's enough, Ella. Okay. Next is... Vanilla. It's over there. I see it. I think it's too much. No, it's okay. That's enough. I'm cleaning my room. <laughs> What's up, William? Look! Dust on your shoulder! What are you doing? I'm cleaning my room. How often do you clean your room? Twice a week. How about you? Once every two weeks or once a month? You are a clean person. Maybe. So, why are you looking for me? This afternoon, Zack and I will practice basketball. Would you like to join? Sure. What time? 3 p.m. at the school. Okay. I'll be there. Okay. Continue your work.
This is very important. Hi, Andrew. I'm Mary from Talk Show. May I ask you some quick questions? Okay. You just won a gold medal in the national marathon. How do you feel now? Happy and proud. What do you think is important for success? Practice. This is very important, and persistence. What difficulties did you have? I spent a lot of time practicing. Sometimes I was exhausted. Who is your biggest supporter? My parents and my coach. What is your next goal? Win the gold medal in the international competition. Wonderful. I'm coming to pick you up. Hi, baby. What are you doing? I'm coming to pick you up. Pick me up? For what? Today is David and Mary's wedding. They invited us. Don't you remember? Of course I remember. But their wedding is tomorrow. No, you're wrong. It's today. Really? What time? At ten o'clock. I have to do my makeup. Hurry up! The groom isn't David, and the bride isn't Mary. I told you, their wedding is tomorrow. I got the date wrong. Why don't we have lunch together? Good idea. I don't want to bother you. <gasps> Can I have your phone number? Okay. Here you are. Thank you. You're so popular recently. Girls often ask for your phone number. Don't say that. Have any girls called you yet? Yes, a lot, but I feel bothered. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. Wait, Beatrix. What's up? You have my phone number. Yep. Why don't you call me? I don't want to bother you. So, can I have your phone number? Why? Because I want you to be my girlfriend. Stop complaining. My wife complains about everything. We often quarrel. My wife and I used to, but now we get along very well. How did you do? She used to complain a lot. She used to say. You always watch TV. Why don't you wash the dishes? You drink a lot of alcohol again. You don't love me anymore. And I often said, 
Stop complaining. Me too. I got angry. That made everything worse. What should I do? Listen to her. Don't try to argue. Thank her for what she does. Help her with the housework and say love her. I will try. John, where are you? John! What's up, honey? I'm upstairs. Can you come here? I need your help right now. Honey, where are you? I'm in front of the door. What's up, honey? What are those? Some furniture you and I ordered together. Don't you remember? Yeah, I think I have some memory of it. Good. I can't move them inside. Can you help me, please? Sure. This is a man's job. I believe in you. I will help you after I change my clothes. Take it easy. I can do it myself. A few minutes later... You look so tired, John. Do you need to take a break? No, I'm fine. Wow, this is a nice table. We can put it in the reading room. Leave it to me. You should move that chair. Okay. Oh, God. Why is it so heavy? Let me help you with it. I'm home, honey! Okay, great. Change your clothes. I'm preparing dinner now. Let's see what we have today. Oh, is that lamb? Yeah, and I'm making vegetable stir-fry. That's great. You have never cooked lamb before, have you? Nope, this is my first attempt. Hope it's going to be great. How does it taste? It tastes a little bit weird. I think you didn't prepare the lamb thoroughly. It's a bit dry. Let me try it. Oh, my. And the sauce is a bit too sweet. Okay, I see. It is not good at all. You did well, but I can help you fix it. How can we fix it? We should add a little bit of lemon juice and chilies. It will be better. Okay. Now let's try it again. Wow, it's so much better. John, I think we should talk. Okay, about what, honey? About you and me. Why are you so serious? Did I do something wrong? No, take it easy. I just want to talk about our weaknesses. Then we can fix them together. Oh, you scared me. Okay, let's talk. Okay, I will start first. I'm not good at cooking, for sure. We both know that. And you? My health is not good. Remember when I moved that table? I couldn't do it alone, even though it is not heavy. Okay, what is your solution? We should help each other. I will exercise more to make my health better. You should remind me whenever I forget to work out. Okay, so I will learn how to cook. There are some cooking channels on YouTube. I think they will be useful. And I can taste your food or help you sometimes. Okay, deal.
John. John, wake up. Your alarm's going off. I'm so sleepy, honey. I can't even open my eyes. Come on. Today is the fifth day of morning exercise. Wake up. Okay. I think I should set more than one alarm. You will still go back to sleep if you don't have motivation. I know. I know. I'm up now. Good. You still have 45 minutes to exercise. How about you? Will you make breakfast today? Yeah, I bought some ingredients yesterday. Okay, let's start our day. Sure. Why are you just pacing around? I'm looking for the bacon. I don't know where it is. Bacon will be in the refrigerator always. If it's not there, we don't have it. I thought I bought some yesterday. Are you sure? Let me check the receipt. Oh no, I didn't buy it. What do you want to make? Just toast and fried bacon. Let's make eggs Benedict. But I don't know how to make it. Let me help you. Okay. Well, you are quite good at cooking. Yeah, when I lived alone, I always cooked for myself. While I wait for you, I will do some planks. How long can you hold it? Lately, it's been around a minute. Wow, mine are only 20 seconds. I can also exercise for 30 minutes without a break. You are so cool. I need to go to the gym for motivation. Great. Honey, I'm home. Honey. Hey, John, why are you so late today? I went to the gym after work. Luckily, I still had time for it. Are you hungry? I'm still preparing dinner. It will take a while. Where did you go? Did you go jogging? To be honest, I cooked dinner once already, but it wasn't really good. So I went to the supermarket again to buy some ingredients to make some other dishes. Did you walk to the supermarket? Yeah, I couldn't book a car. It was rush hour. But it's far away. Are you tired? I will help you prepare dinner. It's fine. I like walking. I'm so sorry. I tried to cook them well. That's fine, honey. We've had a rough day. Yeah. How is everything? What do you mean? The changing challenges in your family. Ah, uh, it's quite well so far. That's great. You know, we finally found that I have talent in sports and John has good cooking ability. Oh really, I didn't expect that. Me too. Overall, it is a successful challenge. John is still lazy, but he tries to go to the gym at least twice a week. His health is getting better. How about you? I go to the gym five times a week. And I'm also thinking about taking a martial arts class. Wow, you're gonna be so strong. Yeah. And I'm still learning to cook. My skill isn't that great, but it is better day by day with John's help. Do you want to take part in a cooking class? No, I don't think so. John knows many recipes and he can teach me. That's enough. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Emma and Sophia have a date through a friend's recommendation. They had high hopes for the person they would meet. Let's see who they are. I'm 
I'm so excited about our date this Friday. Me too. I heard that they are two hot guys. Yeah, Leo told me that James is an architect in a big group. He must be really good at drawing and painting. Definitely. What about David? David is a teacher. I thought that teachers are always strict. Leo told me he's super gentle and sensitive. I hope so. Who is taller, David or James? I guess James is taller. Leo told me he was the tallest on the basketball team when he was a student. I feel like David is taller. I don't know. We will know this Friday. Yeah, James' house is further. He has to drive one hour to the city center. It doesn't matter. We should choose the location near his house to save time. Yeah, but Leo told me he's going to move next month. That's perfect. What should we wear on Friday? I will wear a comfortable outfit. I don't want to make it too serious. Why don't we wear dresses? It's our first date. How about my skinny red dress? That's perfect, but the color's too bright. Beige or pastel is better. Beige is the best, but I have no beige dress, unfortunately. Let's go shopping. Yeah. That is great. We will go tonight. What's up, girls? We will have a date this Friday. With who? With two hot guys. Yeah, our friend introduced us. Really? It seems like a blind date, right? Not really. We already know something about them. Yeah, they also know us. It cannot be called a blind date. So tell me, what do they look like? James is tall with blonde hair and blue eyes like the ocean. Yeah, he is taller than you guys. Really, we are over six feet. How tall is he? I don't know, but Leo told me that. Yeah, yeah, they must be the tallest guys in the world. Okay, and the other guy? His name is David. Oh, I don't like that name. <clears throat> It reminds me of my uncle David. Come on, he's a teacher. It means that he is smarter than you. You're <laughs> also smart. They are humorous, friendly, and kind. Yeah, they are also hardworking. It is really hard to set up a date for the four of us. About humor, no one is more humorous than I am. Yeah, confirmed. Even if you are the most humorous person in the world, you cannot be like them. Yeah, you are sloppy and lazy. You are the laziest person I have met. How do you know they are not lazy? Of course they aren't. You are really mean. I heard that they always hit the gym after work, and they love sports. A sports person cannot be a lazy person. Yeah, they exercise every day. Okay. He is the best guy in the world. Yeah, the best guys. You guys are just jealous. Yeah, they are. They are not as good as David and James, so they should be jealous and shy. Come on, they may be more handsome than us, but for sure we are kinder. We always help our friends. Yeah, everyone here likes us. That's right. You can ask anyone here to confirm. Whatever. What are you doing here? Do you know what time it is? Hi, I'm so sorry. My apologies. Back to work. You have many tasks to complete today. Don't waste time on chit chat. <laughs> 
Understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. Today is hotter than yesterday. Yeah, but luckily it's not raining. The view is so breathtaking. This is the highest building in our city. Ugh, that's Emma and Sophia, right? Let's go say hi. Hi, what a coincidence. Yeah, are you also having dinner here? Our table is over there. This is David and James. I told you about them. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm David. I'm James. I'm Max. We're colleagues of Emma and Sophia. Enjoy your night. Thanks. I don't think James is taller than me. Yeah, and David is surely not the most handsome dude, like they have said. They don't look muscular at all. They're no better than us. Agreed. The girls were just overestimating their dates. I'm glad to see you guys today. Yeah, me too. Leo told me about you. I hope all good things. Absolutely. Hey, James. Yeah. I heard that you were the best basketball player when you were at university. No, I was the tallest player, but I was not the best player. Do you go to the gym? Yeah, after work, sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah, we prefer to play games. Oh, I thought you loved to work out. How about your jobs? My house is quite far from work, so it is a bit difficult to drive every day. Will you move to a closer place? Not sure. I will consider changing my workplace. I'm too lazy to find a new house and pack everything. Oh, I see. Are you two best friends? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to move in with David? No, never. He's so messy. You're even messier than I am. Remember when you stayed at my house for two weeks? You turned it upside down. Come on, James. I said I was sorry. Their date seems terrible. Yeah, they are too different from what they expected. Why did they believe what Leo said? We are better. Confirmed. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. He's the best guy in the world. <laughs> That's so funny. What a perfect date. Yeah, he's the tallest guy. He's kinder than you. <laughs> Stop that. Emma, look at us. They are not even better than us. We are kind handsome and gentle you should accept that reality are you guys serious liars if you were as good as you said why did we dump you that's ridiculous <laughs> okay well, you are better than james and david yeah you are the best Comparative. Subject plus verb plus a short adjective or adverb plus ER at the end plus than. Examples. You are better than James and David. He is not taller than me. Subject plus verb plus more. Long adjective or adverb plus than. Example. No one is more humorous than I am. They may be more handsome than us. Superlative. Subject 
plus verb plus short adjective or adverb plus est at the end. Examples. You are the best. You were the best basketball player. He is the tallest guy. Subject plus verb plus the most. Long adjective or adverb. Example. Yeah, and David is surely not the most handsome dude, like they have said. Do you want to eat more? No, not at all. I'm full. Please try it. It tastes great. Okay, okay. Try what? Try this dish. Well, they look delicious. Thank you. But what dish is this? Try it, and you will know. No, thank you. It looks kind of strange. No, it's very delicious. What exactly are those green things? They're called green onions. What are the long things? It's noodles. Here, try it. Oh no, thank you. Oh please. But you have to tell me where is this from? Guess. Hmm. This is Italian food. No, it's Chinese food, not a Western one. Really? It doesn't look like a Chinese dish. That's right. This is Chinese food, and I spent a lot of time cooking it. All right, I'll try it. Australia Day. Hey, Mark. Listen, I'm researching festivals. So what? You can take a snow bath at a snow festival. In which nation is the snow festival held? I'm researching the one in Canada. Snow festivals are also held in China and Japan. I know, but sorry, I'm not interested in it. Why? We may travel to Canada. Ah, thank you. In our little town, we enjoy wonderful festivals and holidays as well. But it's not the big festivals. We have the Fourth of July. We have the small town post office holiday. Then, it's not a big holiday. We don't have a big party. All right, let's plan a great celebration for our town. Yeah, I love it. Show me which festival you researched. Take a look. It's impossible. Cockroach races? Yes, every January twenty-six, Australians have cockroach races. January twenty-six is Australia Day, right? Yeah, right. That's the country's birthday. When is the birthday of a small town? I don't know. Anyway, that may be our enjoyable event. Yeah, I can start looking for cockroaches. Oh, hey Sarah, how are you? Great, thanks. And how was school? Great. We're giving presentations at several globe festivals. My presentation is scheduled for next week. Which festival will you discuss? Quebec's Winter Carnival. Oh wow, great! I can help you. You might also present Australia Day and discuss the cockroach races. I can assist you. I found some cockroaches. What? It sounds weird. Well, when is Quebec's Winter Carnival? The last month of February. It is the world's largest winter carnival. There are many cultural events, and they have a night parade. Oh, whoa! So cool. You're all set for your presentation. You have obviously done a lot of research, right? Sure. So, what were you talking about? Simon wants to hold a festival in his hometown. A festival? Yeah. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. We can have a fast-talking competition. Sarah would win. Yeah, I can also organize cockroach races. What? I have my box of cockroaches right here. Simon, how many cockroaches do you think are in there? Let me see. 
Four cockroaches. Do you want to see it? No, thanks. What are you looking for? I'm looking for a package. Is the package big? It is not a big package. Okay, tell me what's your name? Simon Way. Okay, let me see. Hmm, this is strange. What's wrong? I don't see your name on this list. Really? Are you certain? Yes, but I will check it again. Yes, check again. Oh, here it is. Great. Wait, this isn't my package. It's for Simon Monroe. Sorry, can you tell me your name again? My name is Simon Way. Oh, sorry. Well, your package isn't in this bag. That's impossible. I'm sure it's here. Sorry, I can't find it. What's in the package? Nothing special. Sorry, Simon, but your package isn't here. Mail service is slow sometimes. Okay, I got it. Another mail truck will come this afternoon. Come back before 4 p.m. Okay, I got it. Thank you, Betty. Why don't you stamp the letter? Hey, have you been to the post office? Yes, I just got to the post office. So you received the package, right? No, it isn't there yet. Oh, that's bad. Anyway, do you want to go eat lunch? Sure. Great idea. Then I'll be back at the post office after 4 p.m. Okay, this afternoon? I also need to send a letter. Can I give them to you? Sure, give me. Here. But, wait, why didn't you stamp the letter? Is it necessary? Yeah, without stamps, you will not be able to send the letter. Oh, I got it. Can you buy it for me? Yes, I will buy it for you. How many stamps now? They cost 41 cents each. Okay, and I think your package be there when you go back. I hope too. What package? Nothing special. It's just something fun? Something fun? I'm very curious about that. When Simon gets it, he'll show you. Okay. I like getting packages and letters. My friends write a letter to me every month. Why don't you use email? I like finding letters in my mailbox. Hey, I just received a text from Betty. What did she say? She said she found your package. Really? Oh, that's great. Where is it? Alaska. What? Alaska? Why is it in Alaska? I don't know. Did Betty say anything else? Betty also said the sender sent it to the wrong address. The post office tracked your package. Okay, I got it. Hey, Betty, come here. Your package is currently in Alaska. I know. So when will I receive my package? I'm not sure. Maybe after five days? I'm curious what's in that package. I ordered some girls' exercise DVDs. DVDs? Girls' exercise? Yeah, they have great exercises for my back. Why is your face so red? I'm so embarrassed because the DVDs are for women. It's okay. I use girls' exercise too. Really? Yes, we can work out together. Okay, I need to go. I still have mail to deliver. Goodbye, see ya. Wait, buddy, I want to send this letter. Why doesn't it have a stamp? I have stamps, I'll give you one. Thanks. Here you go, buddy. All these cards have addresses and return addresses. Thanks for waiting. No problem. What do people really mean? Hello, Mari. How are you feeling? Not bad, thank you. 
Is anyone sitting here? No, have a seat. Thanks. So, how are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm busy. I have to go to school and work. Plus, I'm preparing for my brother's wedding next month. Congratulations on your brother's wedding. Thank you very much. Is the wedding huge? Oh, yes. It's going to be a huge wedding. Great. Hey, Nancy, over here. Hi, guys. Who is that? This is Yolanda. She works in the library. Yolanda, this is Nancy. She is my roommate. She teaches English here. It's nice to meet you, Yolanda. Nice to meet you, too. Sorry, but I have to leave in 10 minutes to get to work. Mari, I'll see you soon. We'll go to the movies or something. Sure. Why don't we go to the movies on Thursday night? Okay, I have to check my calendar. I will call you later. Okay, see you later. See ya. What do you like to do for fun? Hello, Dan. How are things going with you? Much the same as usual. Thanks for caring, mate. Hey, I've been listening to your new songs. So cool. Thanks. Anyway, did you come to our show last night? Sure, I was. So, Mari, how was your night at the club? Yeah, it was pretty wild. I'd love it. What were your thoughts about our band? Well, your band is awesome. But honestly, the music was too loud for me. I prefer jazz. Really? Do you go to concerts much? No, I don't go often. As you know, tickets to concerts are very expensive. Yeah, I get what you mean. So, what do you enjoy doing for fun? I enjoy visiting different ethnic restaurants and sampling new foods. What is your favorite type of food? Japanese food, obviously. So, how about you? I'm not a big fan of sushi or sashimi. But I love Mexican food. Well, I kind of hate beans and cheese. What about Indian cuisine? No, it's too spicy. Do you enjoy American cuisine? Hamburgers, hot dogs, and french fries. All that fat, salt, and sugar. So you don't like American food? No, not really. I just don't like fast food. They are not good for health. Do you like cooking? Yes, I do. That's one of my interests all the time. What do you think about modern art? Well, I prefer paintings from the 19th century. You've heard of Monet, Van Gogh, and Renoir, right? Yes, they are very famous painters. Okay, so what are your thoughts on sports? Are you a fan of American football? No. Basketball is my favorite sport. It's all right. To clone or not to clone? Your puppy is very lovely. How old is he, Nancy? Eleven. This dog is quite old. Yes, I like him a lot. I would be deeply saddened if you went. Hmm, you can clone him. You're kidding, aren't you? Oh, I'm just joking. However, did you know scientists in Korea have cloned a dog? I saw a picture of it in Time magazine. I've heard of cloned sheep, mice, and rabbits, but not pets such as dogs. Do you know a company in California offers a pet cloning service for $15,000? You can have an exact copy of your pet. This scared me quite a bit. Why are you scared? 
They will begin cloning humans. No way. I don't think that'll happen. I think cloning will be used in positive ways, like saving endangered species. That's also a good idea. For example, they may preserve the giant panda and other creatures from extinction. Oh, and I also heard that scientists would be able to clone bodily parts. You know, just grow a new heart or a new tooth. Uh-huh. That's stem cell research, which is similar to cloning. I think a lot of medical problems are going to be solved with that. Yeah, I think so. It can help us live longer, or they can help your dog live longer, right? A baby shower. Hello, Mari. Hello, Jeff. Hey, I just received an email from Nancy. What is the email about? Join us for a baby shower, honoring Nancy Anderson on April 5th at 11 a.m. That's great that you received the invitation. Yes. But what exactly is a baby shower? You know, it's a party for a woman who's going to have a baby. It's sort of like a baby welcoming ceremony? Yeah, right. It's a party, then why do you call it a shower? Bathing the woman with children's gifts. Get it? Yes, I see. See you next time. May I help you? Thanks, we're just looking. Please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. What do you think of these jeans? They're really nice. How much are they? Hmm, there's no price tag. Where's the salesperson? I'm going to ask her. Oh, there she is. Excuse me, how much are these jeans? Okay, let's see. They were $29, but I think today they're 30% off. Can I try them on? Sure. The fitting rooms are right over there. Just go on in. Thanks a lot. Lynn, how do I look? They're perfect. Oh, they look very nice on you. Great, I'll take them. Can I pay by credit card, please? Sure. See you next time. Have a good time. I just bought a ticket to Brazil. I'm so excited to explore the country. Good for you. Traveling is so much fun. I also love discovering new places and new people. When are you leaving? Next week, I'm taking the red eye. The red eye? Yeah, the latest flight overnight. It was cheaper. Hopefully, I'll be able to sleep on the plane. I wish I could go with you. Brazil is a magical place. You will have so much fun. I hope so. I'm going to visit my brother who lives in Rio de Janeiro. I will stay for a week and then take the train down to Sao Paulo. Great plan. Have a good time. He has a bad headache. Hey, where is Bobby? He can't come today. Poor guy. What's up? He told me he's free this evening. He has a bad headache. Oh, he was still fine when I met him this morning. What happened to him? I don't know. Maybe he has the flu. 
Yeah, the weather now is so terrible. Last week, I also had a fever. Yeah, this is his favorite movie. What a pity. Did he see a doctor? Not yet. But he bought some medicine at a drugstore near his house. Hope he gets better soon. Yes, this weekend we also have a field trip. It was nice meeting you. Excuse me. Hi. Is this the station to wait for the train to Austin? Yeah, a train to Austin just left five minutes ago. Oh, a night. Another one will come in 20 minutes. Okay, I see. Which train are you waiting for? I am waiting for the train to Houston. Oh, I lived in Houston for five years. It is a beautiful place to live. Yeah, that is my hometown. I am a doctor there. Wow, it is also my husband's hometown. He is also a doctor. Oh, maybe we know each other. Let's grab a drink sometime. Sure, that's great. There's my train now. Well, it was nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too. What do you need? How can I help you? I am just looking around. If you need any help, feel free to let me know. Sure. Can you help me please? Yeah, what do you need? Does this one have a bigger size? Let me check. Give me a minute, please. Okay, thank you. Unfortunately, that item just has one size. Mm. We have other items that come in three sizes. Do you want to take a look at them? Yes, please. What do you have in blue? Sure, let me show you. Get ready to go to school. Wake up, Tony. Get ready to go to school. What time is it, Mommy? It's 7 a.m. You should get up now or you will be late. But I'm so sleepy. Wash your face and brush your teeth. Then you may feel better. Okay, can you please help me do my bed? Only today. Thank you, Mommy. Then go downstairs. Daddy is preparing breakfast for us. Great, what will we have? One of your favorite dishes, quickly. Okay, I'll be ready in 10 minutes. Good job. Can you help me? Excuse me, can you help me? Yeah, what's up? I'm looking for the Riverside restaurant, but I think I got lost. That restaurant was closed three months ago. Oh my God. I saw it had great feedback online, so I planned a date there. I'm so sorry. Is there any Italian restaurant on this street? No, not on this street. But I know one on the next street. Oh, that's great. Can you give me the name and directions to there, please? Sunshine Restaurant. You head to the crossroad and then turn left. It is next to the playground. Thanks so much.
I just made it. What are you doing, sweetie? Daddy, look at this. Wow, a beautiful flower. Did you make it? Yeah, I just made it. I want to give it to Mom on Mother's Day. Ah, oh, you are so sweet. Mommy will be very happy. I hope she likes it. She will, trust me. Who taught you to make it? Teacher Jane. She's my homeroom teacher. Great. Do you want me to help? I think not. I just want to make it by myself. Thanks, Daddy. Okay. If you need my help, let me know. I'll be over there. Okay. My watch is broken. Do you want to go shopping with me this weekend? Sure, if you want. What do you want to buy? I just want to look around. Are you sure? I want to look at some watches. But you have a watch, don't you? Yeah, but it's broken. Do you want to repair it? I know a good watchmaker. Maybe he can help. That's great. We can go to him first. If you can't fix it, I think I need to buy a new one. Okay, I will pick you up this weekend. Great. See you then. His luck took a turn. Matt, you're back. How was your vacation? You're so lucky. I want to visit London too. It was so so. His luck took a turn. What do you mean? It rained all three days. Oh my god. Did you have any chance to visit tourist spots? Just Big Ben. Then I stayed in the hotel the rest of the time like a hermit. Well, at least you saw Big Ben. Did you get any photos? Yeah. See, I just took photos from my hotel balcony. Wow. Though it was raining, the view was incredible. Yeah. London is very beautiful. I will go back one day. Remember to check the weather forecast next time. Hey, what's the book you were reading? It seems you are deeply absorbed in it. Yes, I have already read the book once. Now it is my second reading. I see. What is the name of the book and by whom it is written? Robinson Crusoe. Daniel Defoe is the writer. He is a very famous novelist and has written lots of amazing books. How was the book? Did you enjoy it? Yes, I enjoyed it a lot. It is one of the most interesting books I have ever read in my life. Cool. Please give me the book after you finished reading it. Okay. But in the meantime, you can read another book. Do you have any book recommendations? There are many interesting books on Dad's bookshelf. Let me try to find it. You are just like our father, a bookworm. Both our father and I love to read. Yeah. Let's see. The covers of these books are so eye-catching. <gasps> hey, I found an old book. It's torn off the cover. Where? Let me see. Here it is. The book is yellowed and the cover is torn. This book looks so old. 
Don't know what book this is. Hey, what fell out? A photo? Let me see. That's our family photo. Yeah, so cute. You looked so chubby when you were little. And you've always carried this teddy bear with you. Look, there's text behind the photo. What does it say? Though they are not our own children, we will love them forever. What does it mean? Does that mean we are not their own children? God, can't believe it. How could it be? Shh, what should we do now? Put the photo back where it was. Let's go back to the room. Don't let anyone know. Okay. We are not their own children. How could they not tell us about that? I still can't believe it. So we're adopted. But they treat us very well. I know, but still, they might lie to us. I wonder how our real parent looks like. You're right. I'm so curious. Maybe they are very rich. Or very poor. Or maybe they are really strict. Oh, no, I don't like that. But they are still our real parents, you know? Okay. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, little angels. Come here and have breakfast. Yes, Dad. Where's Mom? Your mom went to work early in the morning. Oh, right. Dad? Yes, honey. I think we do not look like you guys. Why are you saying that? I don't like to read. And I don't have the same eye color as you. And I can't cook as well as Mum. I don't have handicrafts like her. Well, because a white stork carrying you both to us. Really? <laughs> all right, all right. Have your breakfast. We are certainly adopted. Yes. I feel so bad. I love them so much. Me too. But we still have to find our real parents. But how do we find our birth parents without their information? I'm not sure yet. Let's use the internet. Good idea. If we can't find them, let them find us. What do you mean? Well, we have our information and pictures. And then, we upload them on social media and websites. People will see it. Will it be effective? Yes, I think. That's the best way I can think of now. I got it. Hello, how may I help you? Is this Mr. Jason's house? Yes, and you are? I'm Evelyn. I come here to meet Hannah and Monica. You want to meet my daughters? Yes. Why do you want to meet our daughters? Let me in, please. I'll explain everything. Of course, sorry. Please come in. Have a seat, please. Thanks. 
What can I get you to drink? A cup of tea, please. Here you go. It tastes really good. Thanks. You're welcome. Now explain to me who you are and why you want to meet my daughters. I saw a post on the internet about finding birth parents. And the people who want to find their birth parents are Hannah and Monica. What? We are the birth parents of Hannah and Monica. Here, this is the post. Oh my God, what's going on? Hannah and Monica! Yes, Dad? What's the matter, Dad? Who is she? Did you post to find your birth parents? So she is our real mom? No, we're your birth parents, not her. But... Why do you suspect that I am not your birth father? We found a photo of our family on the back of the photo. It says, Though they are not our own children, we will always love them forever. Which photo? The photo was hidden in the book. Wait a minute. You mean that photo? Yes, right. Oh, no. Wait here. Can you tell me how many people are in this photo? Four. Our family. Right. And two dogs that died of disease? Yes. So what? This is the only photo we took with the two dogs. So I wrote the sentence behind the photo. Because both your mom and I love these two dogs very much. But you said that the stork... That was just a joke. And it's normal that you don't have some characteristics like us. It turned out that way. We thought we were adopted. I'm so sorry. Due to a misunderstanding that led to this situation. These are their birth certificates. We are deeply sorry. Well, I can't believe this happened. How are you lately? I am not really good, to be honest. After the divorce, there are many things I need to take care of. I know you are in a tough time now. Do you mind if I ask the reason why you divorced? My old husband and I cannot get along together anymore. He is an awful person. When did you realize that? Three years ago. And I have tried my best to keep the marriage alive. I wanted Elias to live with both mom and dad. But I can't take it anymore. I can't be with someone who's always drunk, who never cares about either of us. And this is also better for Elias. He doesn't have to see us argue anymore. How about Elias? He lives with me, absolutely. Thank God. Yeah, everything is finished now. So where do you live now? I know you used to live with Bruno. Yeah, Elias and I moved into a small apartment. But it's better than living with Bruno. You are so strong. I can't imagine how I would be if I were in your situation. I just want to have all the best things for Elias. If you have any difficulties, please let me know. I will try my best to help you. Thank you, Vivian. Everything is getting better now. Thank God, Elias is a good boy, and he always loves me. That's great. 
I'm just considering our apartment. What's wrong with it? It's fine, but I don't want to keep renting and paying each month. It's risky. I understand. I want to have my own house. I think I should buy a small house with the money I have after the divorce. Jade, I know a friend who wants to sell his house. I think that house is perfect for you and Elias. That's perfect. Please give me his contact. Sure. Hi, are you James? Yeah, James speaking. Hi, I'm Jade. Vivian sent me your contact. Are you selling a house? Yeah, that's right. Are you interested? Yeah, I want to come and look around. Is it possible? Sure. Which day is good for you? Do you have time this Thursday evening? Yeah, I'm free the whole evening. Just give me a call before you come. Great. See you Thursday. My house has two bedrooms and one living room, one kitchen and one bathroom. Is it too small for you? No, I like small houses. It's cozy and warm. The house has all the needed furniture, but there's not much. I like the minimalist style. Yeah, I also like minimalist style. Convenient, and it saves space. That's great. We have something in common. Uh, I have another sofa in the basement. If you like it, I can swap it out for you. No, this one's okay. I like its color. Good. So, how do you feel about the house? I like it. Especially the small balcony in the front. Oh, really? Why do you like it? I like flowers and trees. I can plant some flowers there. We'll make the house prettier. You're so romantic. Thank you. I should go home now. Thank you for your time today. I will consider the house and contact you later. Yeah, sure. It's quite late now. If you don't mind, can I take you home? Oh, well, that would be great. You're so kind. Thank you. You're welcome. That's my place. Thank you again. Don't mention it. It's my pleasure. Bye, James. I'll call you soon. Uh, Jade? Yes? Are you free this Saturday? Would you like to have dinner with me? We can talk more about the house. Yes, I'm free this Saturday. Great. I'll pick you up at 7. Is that okay? That's perfect. See you Saturday. See you. Good night, Jade. Good night. Drive safe. I will. Bye. I think James likes me. Oh, really? So what do you think about him? Well, we have hung out several times, and it felt good being with him. I think I also have feelings for him. That's great. James is a good guy, I promise. Yeah, I know he's a good man, but I'm not a good woman. Why do you say that? My past. I feel guilty about my past. Don't say that. Everyone has their own stories. And you've done nothing wrong. But I have Elias. What if James doesn't like kids? What if they don't get along? And in the far future, if we have our own kid, will Elias be okay? Jade, I think you should talk to James. You should make everything clear at the beginning. It will be better for James, you and Elias. I don't know how to talk to him. Just tell him the truth. He deserves to know it, right? You're right. I can't be selfish like that. 
That will be good for both of you. I understand. Thank you, Vivian. You're welcome. Good luck. Hey, Jade, what are you thinking about? Ah, uh, no, nothing. You don't look good today. If you're tired, let me know. I'm okay. No worries. Jade, there's something I've been wanting to tell you for a while. I've mustered up the courage today to say it. James, I have something I need to tell you too. Can I say it first? Oh, sure. What is that? It's really important, and I hope you can understand. Okay, I am listening. Well, well, look who's here. Have a new boyfriend already, huh? Unbelievable. We just got divorced a few months ago, Jade. Why are you here? Why? Don't make that naive face. How about Elias? You left your son at home to go out on a date with a strange guy. Bruno, stop it. Divorcing you is the best decision of my life. Jade, who is he? What is he talking about? He is truly my ex-husband. I'm so sorry, James. I was going to tell you everything, but he interrupted. Okay. You... You don't want to be with her. She will leave you for someone else eventually. It's lucky for you that I'm here to warn you. Listen, she is single now, and she divorced you for a reason. From what I've seen, she is totally right. Her son deserves a better dad. Now leave, and don't bother her anymore. Stay out of her life. You're gonna regret it one day. James, please let me explain. Not now, Jade. I need some space. I'm sorry, James. I didn't want to lie to you. I wanted to tell you everything. Jade, just not now. But... Don't say anything. Just let me take you home. Okay. Hello, James? Can we meet today, Jade? Yeah, sure. Where can we meet? Let's go to the park near your house. Okay. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Wait, Jade, one more thing. What is that? Can I see your son? Hi, James. Hi, Jade. Hey, you're Elias, right? I'm James. Hi, James. Nice to meet you. I heard Mom talk about you. Really? What did she say? She told me that you are a nice person and you like playing with kids. Well, so do you want to play some cool games with me today? Sure. Can I have ice cream after we play? Of course! That's also my favorite treat! Yeah! Let's go! I had so much fun today! Thank you, James! Next time I'll take you to the zoo, okay? Okay! I can't wait! Now go wash your hands and your feet! Thank you, James. He hasn't been that happy for a long time. He surely deserves that. James, I'm so sorry. I didn't want to hide anything, but I hesitated and ruined everything. I have feelings for you. I don't want to lose you. But I can't deny my past. I don't deserve you. You're too kind. So, you don't have to worry about me. I just hope we can still be friends. And I hope that you can take Elias out sometimes. He really likes you. That's far more than enough. 
And I still want to buy your house, if you agree. I really love it. I'm sorry, Jade, I can't sell that house to you. Oh, I understand. In fact, I can't sell that house to anyone now. <gasps> That's our house. Traffic Rules I'm preparing for my driving license. Are there some traffic rules I need to pay attention to? There are many rules to know. Drive at a safe speed. Maintain a safe distance between vehicles. Don't cut off other vehicles. You shouldn't change lanes unnecessarily. Okay, I will note this. Keep your eyes on the road. Never drink and drive. You're right. If a pedestrian steps out in front of you, you must slow down for them. I'll notice. You need to know the traffic signs. I'm learning. Good luck with your driving test. Thank you. Housework. Wake up, Adam. It's the weekend. Let me sleep a little more. We need your help with the housework. Housework? Why, Mom? Tomorrow is family reunion day. Grandparents and relatives will come to our house. We need to clean the house. Oh, I remember. So, wake up. What housework do I have to do? Vacuum the floor. Mop the floor. Anything else, Mom? Cut the grass and set the table. That's it? Not really. Which one would you choose? Take out the garbage or hang up the clothes? Take out the garbage. Cool. Let's start. Oral exams. Next week, we'll have an oral examination. <gasps> oh no, an oral exam! Yeah, it lasts about 15 minutes and has three parts. What is that, teacher? Interview, individual tasks, and discussion. Interview? Yes, each of you will be asked about your hometown, family, study, leisure, and future plans. What about individual tasks, teacher? You will compare the two photos and explain your feelings about them. And discussion, teacher? You will discuss with the examiner some ideas. It doesn't sound easy. Don't worry, it's not too difficult. Now, we learn a new lesson. Open the book on page 73, please. Oh. Yes? Hi, Laura. Hi. What's wrong with him? I don't have any idea. So? I can't open my mouth. Come on. Maybe next time. Okay, I'll make her your my girlfriend and you'll regret it. I'll do it again. Great. Hi, me again. I'm Zach. I'm in class 12C. May I have your phone number? Oh, I really want to, but my phone is out of battery. And I don't remember my phone number. Here is my phone number. Oh, great. Would you call me? Yes, sure. Really? You have my word. You're so pretty. I mean, thanks. See you later. Can I let you know? Mary, don't drink anymore. 
Leave me alone. I want to drink. You are drunk. I don't care. Okay, I'm sitting here. Go away. Why are you here? I'm worried about you. Why? Because we're best friends. I can't leave you alone. Can I let you know? Okay, you can let me know. No, I can't let you know that I like you. But you like Linda. Oh my god, did I just dream? Is what you said last night true? What did I say last night? On the phone, a less formal call. ANC Limited, how can I help you? May I speak with Angela Collin, please? I'm sorry, Miss Angela is on a business trip. Who's calling, please? I'm Jonathan Harley. Do you know when she will be back? It's pretty urgent. Tomorrow, if nothing changes. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, could you ask her to call me back? Yes, sure. May I have your phone number? Right, it's 001-530-7985. Okay, Mr. Jonathan, I'll give her the message. Thanks. Thank you for calling ANC Limited. A cup of coffee. I'll make a cup of coffee. Or a couple of coffees for those who want coffee. Me, a cup of coffee, please. Okay, would you like some sugar or milk? Sugar and no milk, thanks. Sure, a cup of coffee with sugar for Tom. Anyone else? A cup of coffee with lots of milk, please. Okay, no sugar? Yes, thank you. How about you, Alex? A cup of coffee? I don't want coffee. May I have a cup of tea? Of course, as you wish. Thanks, Thanks Wendy. Wendy. How about a drink? I'm so sorry. I'm in a hurry. Are you okay? It's okay. I'm fine. Don't worry. Wait. Are you Sam, right? Andy? It's me! Oh, it has been a long time. It's good to see you. Where have you been? When was the last time we met? I don't have any idea. I really want to talk to you, but I'm in a hurry now. Ah, uh, you know... Work! It's okay. How about a drink tonight? Yes, sure. Where can we meet? Paradise Club? Eight o'clock tonight? Perfect. See you tonight. I have a sore throat. What's wrong with your voice? I think I have a sore throat. Since when have you had a sore throat? I don't know, maybe yesterday? I should talk softly because it hurts when I talk. Poor you. You should rest. Is there any way to relieve a sore throat? Hot tea with honey, soup or warm water with lemon. I think I'll make hot tea with honey. Would you like hot soup? I will cook it for lunch. That's great. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. On sale. After work, shall we go shopping? Agree. I need to buy a new jacket. No, I just went shopping last weekend. You can go with us just to take a look. No need to buy. I can't. Every time I go shopping, I have to buy something. Where will we go shopping? The store is opposite our company. 
That store is on sale. Really? Yes, 50% off all products. Rose, will you go? It's on sale. Oh, my money. Ugh. Okay, after work, let's go shopping. 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 Not a cloud in the sky. Look at the sky, Jolie. Oh, that sky is so beautiful. Yes, there is not a cloud in the sky. The atmosphere around is also pleasant. Yeah, the weather is cool. It's not too hot and not too cold. That is autumn. It's a time when colors change, moods change, and the weather changes. I love autumn. Me too. It's a romantic season. It's getting close to Halloween. And Thanksgiving. Look, the leaves begin to change colors and fall from the trees. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day. Cold and windy. Thanks for breakfast. The food you make is delicious. The weather forecast says it's cold and windy today. You should wear a coat. You're right. I'm gonna go get my coat. What is the temperature outside? I think the temperature is about 15 degrees. Oh, it's cold. Your coat looks too old. Really? Yes. Let's buy a new coat this weekend. Okay. It is starting to get cold. We should buy some clothes for winter. That's right. I have to go to work. See you tonight. Goodbye, honey. Failing the road test. Dialogue 1. Was my driving test good? Do you want to know the truth? Of course, tell me. You didn't do all that well, did you? Correct, I was quite nervous that day. <coughs> to be very honest, you failed your exam. Why? There were several reasons. What are they? Simply put, you don't know how to drive. Can I retake the test? Yeah, you can take the test again next week. Dialogue 2 Is my test okay? Do you want to know the honest answer? Yes, I really want to know. You will be shocked to hear the results. I'm ready. Please tell me the results. Sorry, but you failed your driving test. <gasps> really? You failed for one reason. I'm not sure how I failed the driving test. You made the mistake of forgetting to fasten your seatbelt. Can I retake the exam? You will be able to retake the test in a few weeks. Dialogue 3 When are the driving test results posted? Test results are available! Are my results good? I really don't know how to say it, but... Did I fail? Yes. I don't understand how I could have failed it. There are several reasons why you did not pass. What are the reasons? You made a few mistakes while driving. Will I be allowed to retake the exam? Sure. We will notify you when the exam schedule is available. Passing the road test. Dialogue 1. Is my test good? I've got a bit of great news for you. Really? 
What's the good news? You passed. Did I make any mistakes on my test? There was only one problem. What was it? You made a parking mistake. Parking is usually the most difficult issue for me. You should practice more. Yeah, but in the meantime, do I get my license? Sure. Dialogue two. Did I pass my driving test? Yeah, you did great on your test. So did I pass? Yes, you did pass. Great, but did I make any mistakes? Yes, you just made a small mistake. What was it? Your parallel parking test was not so good. Yes, that is a challenge for me. All you need is a little more practice. I know, but I'm still going to get my license, right? You got it. Dialogue three. How did I do? Very excellent. You mean I passed the test? Yes. Congratulations. Did I mess up at all? Just a small mistake. Please tell me. You made a mistake in parallel parking. That is not a simple task for me. Yes. What you need to do is practice more. Can I still get my driver's license? Of course. Getting the driver's license. Dialogue one. I need to get my driver's license. You must pass a driving test. Have you taken the exam yet? No, I haven't. Please fill out this form. Okay, but can I take the test today? Actually, you'll need to book an appointment first. Can I make an appointment now? Yes, you can. Is this Friday okay? Friday is going to be fine. What time do you want? What about 11 a.m.? Okay, I'll make an appointment for you at 11 a.m. on Friday. Dialogue two. I'd like to receive my driver's license right now. You must pass your driving test. Have you taken it yet? I have not taken my driving test yet. Could you please complete these forms? Is it possible for me to take my test right now? You must make an appointment. If I could, I'd like to do it right now. How does this Friday sound? That's wonderful. So, what time on Friday? Sometime in the morning. Okay. Come in at 11 a.m. on Friday. Dialogue three. How can I obtain my driver's license? You need to pass the driving test. I know. So what should I do? Okay. First, I need you to fill out this form. When will I be able to take my test? You need to make an appointment. I want to make an appointment right now. The earliest day available will be this Friday. Great. When do you want to take the test? It would be ideal if I could do it in the morning. Friday morning at 11 a.m. Then I'll see you. Asking where to park on campus. Dialogue one. I need to find a parking spot. Do you want to park your car off campus or on campus? 
I need to find a parking spot on campus. Why don't you park in the student parking lot? Where? It is located on the west side of campus. Is the parking lot full? The last time I went up there, it had a lot of space left. When was the last time you were there? I went up there this morning. Do you think it's full now? Maybe. Dialogue 2. Where should I park my car now? You can park your car on campus. That's a great idea. Students have access to a parking facility. Where's the parking lot? You'll find it on the western edge of campus. Is it full yet? When I went up there, it wasn't even half full. When? This morning. Now what? Is it already full? I'm honestly not sure. Dialogue 3. I need a parking space. A parking space on or off campus? Do you know of any available spots on campus? There's a parking structure for students. Where can I find it? On the west side of campus. Do you know if it's full or not? It was empty last time I was there. What time were you there? 7 a.m. this morning. It can't be full right now, can it? I'm not sure. A victim. Did you hear about the robber in our town? Yeah, Nancy told me about it yesterday. How many victims are there, do you know? I don't remember the total number, but Mrs. Jane is one of them. Mrs. Jane? Yes, the old woman downtown. Her house has a big oak tree in front of it. What did he steal from her house? I heard a big box of jewelry. It is valued at about 3000 Poor her. Hopefully cops can arrest the robber as soon as possible. Yeah, I hope no one else gets robbed. A blind date. Where are you going? It's cold outside. I'm going on a blind date. What is a blind date? It's a date where we have never met each other before. I also don't know what he looks like. Is it dangerous? I don't think so. We just eat out in a restaurant. How do you know each other? He's Ben's cousin. We can trust him. Ah, I've heard a little about him. Ben really admires him. Yeah. Oh, I need to prepare quickly or I'm going to be late. Do you want me to drive you there? That would be great. Thank you. Trouble. Hey, you fancy going to the movie theater tonight? Oh, I'm not in the mood to go anywhere. I'm so sorry. That's unusual. What happened? I'm in trouble and I don't know how to deal with it. Tell me in case I can help you. I broke my sister's mobile phone accidentally. Oh my, does she know about it? No, she's playing badminton with her friends. I don't know how to tell her. You better tell her the truth and apologize. I'll be in so much trouble. She won't talk to me. I think she will understand. You didn't do that on purpose. A free trial. I have this course that I think is good for us. What is it? 
It's a course about soft skills. I think we should improve our soft skills before graduating. That's great. But be careful because some courses are not really worth it. No worries. I researched that center and it has all good feedback. Okay. Do they have a website? I would like to have a look at it first. Yeah, here you are. They have some online lessons on this website as well. But I don't like learning online. Well, it is a free trial. You can learn it for free. So why not? A theory. Look at this painting. It looks very nice. Yeah, she is a famous artist in our school for turning memories into art. But there are some of her pictures that are hard to understand. She has written a book explaining the theory behind her art. Really, she is a genius. Do you want to look for more information? Our school has her books in the library. That's great. I will come this afternoon. Do you want to go with me? No, I'm sorry. To be honest, I researched her theory once, but it is too difficult for me. A school subject. What is your favorite subject? My favorite subject is science. What about you? I love math very much. It is awesome. I also like music because I love singing. Music is okay, but I can't sing well. Singing in public stresses me out. So you only like math? Well, not really. I also like playing sports, and my favorite class is geography. Oh, why do you like geography? Because I like traveling. Oh no! What time is it? It's nine a.m. Hurry up! We're going to be late. We should go inside. Let's hurry up. A new song. Hey, what is that song? It is a new song named "Call Me Maybe." I have never listened to it before. When was it published? In the last two days, I think. I think this song will be trending soon. It is. It is in the top ten of Spotify today. That's crazy. Yeah, I know. I've replayed it a hundred times. That song is good, but I don't really feel its rhythm. I thought that too when I heard it the first time, but now I'm addicted to it. Hmm. Let's see. Also, I'm going to sing that song at a party. A favorite toy. I don't know what to get my daughter for her birthday. When is your daughter's birthday? Next Saturday. You still have time. What did you get her last year? A new coloring book. Do you have any new suggestions? What about a new toy? Kids always like toys. That's a great idea. So, what is her favorite toy? She likes dolls. You can buy her a Barbie princess set. It is trendy this year. Oh, where can I buy it? All the toy stores have it. Or you can buy online on Amazon. They have discount vouchers sometimes if you're lucky. Thank you. A TV show. What kind of things do you watch? Well, it depends. Me, for example, after an exhausting day, I just want to lay down and watch a sitcom or a cartoon or something. 
but sometimes I want to enjoy a drama series or a documentary. Hmm, I often watch comedy movies. Do you ever watch stand-up? No, mostly sitcoms. I like BoJack Horseman and stuff like that. What is it about? It's about a horse that used to be a famous TV star. It's set in a world where animals live together with people. You should check it out. Is it funny? Yes, but it also has a dark side, you know. A present. Oh my god, I forgot to buy my mom a birthday gift. How can I forget something so important? When is her birthday? Her birthday is today. My family and I are going to take her out to dinner. What time is dinner? Around 6 p.m. You only have two hours to find her a birthday present. I can't get off work until 5.30. What should I do? There's a gift shop in our lobby. You can go and choose a gift quickly. That's a great idea. I'll go there on my break. Remember, the gift shop closes at 5 p.m. Alice, wake up and have breakfast before you leave for school. Okay, Mom. Let me brush my teeth and wash my face quickly. Okay, but don't take too long, otherwise you will be late. I know, Mom. It won't take long. Okay, I will wait for you downstairs. I'm here, Mom. What do we have for breakfast? I've made some sandwiches. Do you want some for lunch as well? Yes, please. Quick, or else you'll be late. Okay, I'm going now. Don't forget your lunchbox. Sure. Where's your jacket? Oh my god, I hung it in the bathroom. Can you get it for me? Okay, hold your lunchbox and I will get it for you. Thanks, Mom. Bye. Oh, haven't you gone? I forgot my key. You're not home today, right? Nope. Where did you put it? I don't remember. Maybe on the desk in my room? I will grab it quickly and leave. Okay. Be careful. Hey, Alice. Hi, everyone. Oh, you've brought your brain with you today, huh? What do you mean? You remembered to bring your backpack today, didn't you? Uh Uh-huh, my bag. You always forget your bag, so I thought it was gone forever. Oh, come on. I just forgot it twice. Don't make it complicated. No one forgets their backpack when going to school. Okay, okay, I forgot it. I prepared a lunchbox for today. How about you? No, I didn't. My mom is very busy today. I also have my lunchbox today. Hey, Miss Mary is coming! Oh my, she is always early. Yeah, she's never been late. I like her. Me too, but she is a bit tough, honestly. Monitor, can you help me give these handouts to everyone? This is the syllabus for the coming test in the next two weeks. Have you heard about the GN Council? Yes! Yes. They're going to be the examiners this time. Hopefully you can do your best in this exam. If you get a bad score, it will be noted on your profile. Oh my god, I don't want that. Me too. They're going to be extremely strict. 
I'm afraid I may get a bad score. I am not good at math. Did you know last week my brother had an art lesson at his school?、Mm-hmm. The topic was drawing a chicken. How old is your brother? He is six years old. Okay, and then? Do you know what he drew? No! A hen? Or a bird? No, he drew an egg. <laughs> and do you know what his explanation was? He said the egg was going to hatch into a chicken anyway. <laughs> okay, now we should review our lessons. I heard that the GN Council is strict. Have we overrated them? I think they're the same as other teachers at our school. No, it's true. Ms. Mary told us the exam results will be noted in our profile. It affects our background for university interviews. Okay, how long have we been here? We've just been chatting.、Mm-hmm. We've been here since 1 p.m. Okay, we should start learning right now. Have you written down Ms. Mary's notes? Yeah, I have. I've taken a little bit of notes, but there's something I haven't been able to understand. Which one? This one. I've searched for it, but I still cannot understand. Ah,、oh, this one. You can check exercise two. It is the same. I have looked for the same exercises. We can practice them. Great. How many lessons should we revise? From the third lesson to the tenth lesson. The eighth lesson is too difficult. I agree. I have never done that type of math correctly. We should outline important parts so that we can look back at all our problems. Okay. Alice, you should prepare well. Also, don't forget your bag anymore. Okay, I will. Put all the needed documents in your bag, especially your ID card. It is the most important thing. <laughs> Ms. Mary's attitude in class makes me so nervous. It must be a serious exam. Though I have reviewed it many times, I still haven't gained confidence in it. Okay, Alice, you can do it. Everything will be fine. Now I should get everything ready before going to bed. Let me double check. I have put all the needed documents in the bag. The bag has been put over there. I won't forget it anymore. Ah! I almost forgot the alarm. Set for 1 p.m. What's up? Where are you? Have you arrived? What? Arrived where? Oh my god, you're still sleeping! The exam is going to start soon! Why haven't you left yet? What? Are you kidding me? The exam is in the afternoon. No! The test is in the morning! Get up and come to school, quick! Listen, don't forget to fill in all your information in the answer sheet. If your information is wrong, your exam will be voided. Do you understand? Yes. yes! Oh, looks like we have a missing student. We will wait for her for five minutes. After five minutes, I will close the class door. I'm so sorry. May I come in? You're late. Lucky you, you're not more than five minutes late. Come in. Thank you. Great. I have read this type of exercise many times. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I wrote the wrong code in the answer sheet. Is it okay to use a correction pen? No, you need to use a new sheet. 
Oh my. Is there any way to fix it? I filled in all my answers. There is no other option. I see. Can I have a new one, please? Time's up, guys. Hey, what's up? I haven't completed mine yet. Do you want to go to the canteen? Okay, I'm so exhausted after the exam. Let's go. I'm also hungry. We can also proofread the answers with each other then. I have learned that exercise so many times. But have you corrected your code in the answers sheet? Of course, but it took a while, so I didn't have time to recheck my exam. You're so careless. That's right. The examiner had reminded us that that is the most important thing. Anyway, luckily, we had practiced the exercise over and over with Ms. Mary in class. However, I thought the exam would be more difficult. Stop it. What's up, Alice? Yeah, you've been staring at your draft for 10 minutes. Have you found other mistakes in your exam? I... I have submitted the wrong answer sheet. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for a more useful video.